standing on the stage. Okay. It's been a while since I lost live stream. It's been a while, been a while. Been a while. What the chat going? I wish I had a second monitor. Probably will help a lot. Anyways, welcome back to Refresh 1999. What a nice day. There'll be such a large audience to night. Ah, my stomach. It hurts. So much! I, I, I'm not lying! Mm. I wonder is there like a way to... Oh there is, hold on. Yeah, it is. Nice. Don't have a thumbnail yet, but we will deal with that in a bit. Playlist, we just put it on with first 1999. Um, not a paid promotion, obviously, no. I wish it was. Silence on the stage is only a tiny, okay, lingering yeah. charm before the next magnificent show. Um. What am I talking about? <sighs> Thank goodness nobody noticed me. Yeah. Okay. Done. But hey. So um this I'm gonna do like a repeat. So this live stream purpose is to do like a recording because I I wanna record but at the same time I feel like it's a bit spread out. And I thought the best way to do this is probably um Probably just do a live stream and I'll just cut the section out of the live stream to do like a highlight. So maybe we'll do that. So um for this one, Thief of Thieves, easy puzzle, you just need to get A, you can keep redoing it, there's no activity involved to it, and then once you get everything, lots of props, it's basically six. One, two, three, four. So it's 240 drops here and lots of other materials you can get. You can keep repeating this. This is basically before Melania, um, had the father's company collapsed and stuff. So it's like a prequel, like um, before everything. So you need to beat the whole story to get this. And then this one you can you get in the beginning. So this is like a small puzzle as well. Um, just have to avoid the lights. Very simple, straightforward. And you clear it without having a certain alertness. You get everything. This gives you uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is 180 drops in total and other mats. So that's straightforward as well. You have access to this in the beginning of the game, along with the theft of the Roman Cup. And the story mode and crisis mode, remember to clear these ones. You see these small icons are the newspapers that's counted towards your stamp collection. That's part of getting these extra e-coins. Um, there's crisis mode that's coming in 5 days. This, you do not need to save your activity for it. This is basically a mode that you get drops, you don't get any extra coins, so there's that. Um, if you're gonna farm coins, the best stage right now is stage 14, the Ardwars one, worth 300 coins. And he 
each time you do four runs, that gives you a thousand two hundred coins. So yeah, and super dean shop. Um, I saw lots of video already on this, so I'm just gonna go quickly. I also did this really quickly, but I have a slight change of opinion what to get first. So um, I, I'm all over the place. I got this, this, like I, I I'm all over the place. And the reason why is. Uh, my aim was to I free my Melania, so that's why it's like, oh, I got some of this, some of this, and this. Basically, you can get I free Melania for free if you get, or I free Beacon for free because they both use this Apple thing and the book. Um, and then the the Sofa B Ouija boards for Sofa B, and I don't know who else used that. Um, but yeah. I, I'm all over the place, you look, I already exchanged some Sharpagon tea and dust just to level up my Melania to be able to I free. so there's that. But priority wise, I still say the first one you want to get is the side tubes. This is like one of the best free side tubes you will get, ever get. Then along with, I would say the, the wilderness one, like I said, passive income, time base is always better in the long run it might not see significant but over time it would just become a pile of dust and charbadonti um, then obviously the gold mats gold mats and then uni log of, of course i love the purple ones like these islands for now i only got the but like the building ones because you can put unlimited of those now the editor's pick after this is done like the gold mats and everything go to the edits pick. I went ahead first because I wanted to, like I said, E3 Melania, right? So I gra grabbed some of these, I grabbed some of the birds already, the shovel Dante and dust. You get everything here as well. Um, there's no priority in which you get whatever you need first, right? Lastly, it's the reward for reader. I think this is the last priority. That's why it's at the bottom. You get polarization and then moving onwards and rest. There's one thing I want to change about the pre previous video I made is um, the Sharper Dante and the Dust. It's not worth farming for it. Uh, after I calculated, um, basically you get 1,200 coins, right? For 30 activity and you only get 1,200. It's not as worth it as I think it was. To be honest, it's like... It's okay for Sharp Dante. Like it's okay, but I don't think it's worth it. You use five extra activity for a certain percentage. I don't know what is it in ratio, but I think it's a bit, uh, you know. So yeah, um, I don't you. I should calculate it now. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna calculate it now. Just try. Let's do an exact calculation. I might be wrong. It it might be. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's see, yeah. Hmm, Sharpadonti. So, this is every 10 gives you 10 sharp, sharp, right? And then there's also every 10 gives you 20 dust. Okay, so we get for 80 activity, we get 10, 1200 point, coins, right? That's the ratio. Okay, let's go back to see the resources stage. So this one is a hundred activity activity, right? For both of them. For four runs, right? Four runs. This is four runs for activities. So this will give you sixty thousand. Sixty plus thousand dust. And then the other one gives you, if I remember correctly, yep, it is 36,000 sharp. Okay, so this is 100, right? So basically, let's convert this. Let's say 5 runs, that means 100, right? So 5 runs 100 for the event will give you 1,500 coins, basically. 1,500 coins, every 10, it can get... 10 sharp and sharp so basically if we do a quick calculation of 1500 divided by 10 
gives you 150 times. Wait. It's basically 15,000. 50,000 shot. And the other one will be 30,000. I'm stupid. I don't even need a calculator. 30,000 dust. So basically, in the event, once you clear everything in the event shop, and you have to have the remnants, you can exchange these, right? So after you clear everything, you bought everything, and then you just exchange the remnants, right? This is really bad. You shouldn't farm these. I'll take... So previous video, I say you can, but like if you have... I, I should say, previous video I said was um, you can exchange the, these after you exchange everything, but these are not worth farming. This is not worth farming. These two are not worth farming. It is literally half of half of the um, activity you can half of the activity and equal like equivalent of the resource stage that we get. So this is very bad. These two are very bad in terms of value for activity. You get half of the value for 100 activity. It is not worth it. You might as well farm the resource stage. Yeah. So once you clear everything in the store, do not farm for these in the event. This is a scam. Big scam. Okay. Now we got that out of the way. Now it's this. Because this is the highest stage you can farm for 300 coins. And you want to get down as less round as possible so for me i somehow managed to get it down to four rounds which i think is acceptable i don't think you can i think maximum you can do it in two to three rounds depends on your team but i i got it down four rounds and i'm fine waiting out for Nothing minutes, four rounds really. don't be so I'm just gonna slow it down and explain. So this is easy, this boss basically is invisible, you can't hit it at all at first until you kill this small animal, uh, I mean small robot, <laughs> excuse me, Jesus Christ. But yeah, now he's visible now, so you can hit both. So this is where I just decided to beat on ult him, I believe that's what I did. Yeah. So I use the poison because he has like a damage reduction. If you remove that shield, then ult him. Then you can do immense damage on him. Or else it's like um or else he's gonna have damage reduction and that's just your ultimate will just do like crap damage. I think I tested it, it does like 200 damage, like it literally half your damage. So yeah. I think there are exact numbers how to how it works and stuff. But I let this robot ult because it, it doesn't really matter and then I can save up for the Melania ultimate here. So yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm surprised that my save beat just like nearly destroyed both of them. So there's that as well. But yeah, I got it down to four rounds. Oh, five rounds. I, I like five rounds. I think it's better because I, I previously my first run was six, and I was like, that's too slow. Yeah, okay, I got it down to five. My bad. Um, but yeah, there's there's that a thousand two, and then you get some Shabadanti as well. But yeah, let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I'm not gonna exchange anything. Uh, I think. Hmm? Can I help you? I mean, I can exchange Sorry. something. Your visit was not in my plans. I guess I can exchange these right now and get Resonant Ten. I saw a video about this personally. Um, there was this YouTuber who calculated the difference between, between Resident 9 to 10 and um, it depends on your combination of your idea he was he managed to get a 30% damage increase and from this game alone how how the um, dam like percentage word work in this game 30% is quite significant so it's worth it basically obviously it's worth it and it will do lots of damage basically but yeah um yeah let's do some limbo um so previously i did a poll on my community youtube ch channel it 
Seems like lots of people want me to do this one, the limbo one. I fully cleared it. Proudly to say, I just cleared it by today. It was lots of RNG. My team was not stable enough to do lots of reruns, so I thought it would be nice if I do it on stream instead of, you know, I'll just show you how many restart you might need. <laughs> um, too bad we can't just replay stage. I don't think so at these. Yeah, you can't. So I have to like reset the whole thing to show you how it's done. And then I'll try to use my original six to clear this and not use Melania because that's how I beat it so I'll try to stay true to it and this is for stage 5 limbo for stage 6 I beat this with this team um, the first stage and then the second team I used was Melania, Beacon and Clover B it was hard, I would say. Um, but yeah, I couldn't do it without Melania. Um, because the I didn't have any characters built to seal or remove Moxie. That's why Melania was such a big deal for me to complete this stage. If you have Drufus, if you have anything that seems to can dodge, like Regulus Ultimate, Drufus, um, Petrify, and stuff, those are great units to deal with as well. There are units like... Um, who else? I'm gonna reset while I'm explaining. So, who else? Um, there are units like, let's say, I'm just gonna show you. There are units like, um, Satsuki also has Petrify, so he needs to stack two Regidi. The only problem about her is she is very AP costly. So, action point. AP means action point, so it takes up some action point to do this. Also, her ultimate stacks Petrify, so it's really good for stage 5 second half and stage 6 second half. So if you have her raised, congratulations, you're gonna have easy mode, especially the all stars, so plants plants are gonna hit really hard. She also has this, when the cast enter inflicts one stack, so basically your first stack you can Petrify anytime. So you can hold it till she's about to ult, and then it removes all their Moxie because they can't move. It's just that OP. Um, and also does, if she dies, it also petrifies the status on the enemy with the highest attack for two rounds. So she's basically a petrified monster. I say she is probably, she, you probably got one copy of her somehow, or if not, it's fine. I'm just saying that this is an alternative if you don't have Druvis. X, X is like, you can remove stats up. Encounter not really useful for this limbo specifically. So yeah, Sasuke really good character. I will consider raising her, hopefully. Um, but I think I will raise and then leave first. I got her the other day. Really surprised. Wasn't expecting her at all. Fun fact: um, one friend from Discord server and another friend I know in real life. We both got Anandi and Melania in the beginning. I we both we we all thought it's a bug. Like my friend got Melania first, uh, uh, Anandi. So basically, he lost the 50-50, then got Melania. One person, my other friend, just got two six star and got Anandi and Melania. I don't know which one he got first, so I'm not sure. For me, I got Melania, then Anandi because I was like, why not? And then I got her as well, so my next character is guaranteed to be the limit up character, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, uh, okay, so like I said before, I only beat this with, um, I only bit, beat these with three of my main characters, so I'm going to try to not use Melania at all. So I only use these three, Sofa B, Beacon, Charlie, Eternity, Sonetta, and Balloon is my three. So for this stage, I chose to go, if I remember correctly, I chose to go Charlie, was it? No, I went Eternity and stuff. Because the rubbish bag has, like, 
like buffs, right? I think. So I use this Sonet. No, Sofa B and Pecan for this first stage, I think. Was it? Yeah. I think this was my first one. Wait. I'm stupid. Hold on. I forgot to check before I reset. Oh my god, I am. I am a terrible <laughs> player. Um, yeah, I used Eternity Sonetto and Balloon Party. Oh no, that's stage 6. Hold on, let me just... Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, guys. Guys, I... Holy shit, I'm so bad. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. I, I saw myself resetting. Hold on. Uh... What did I use? What did I use? Oh my god, I forgot to check before I reset, I'm stupid, or else I can't do the rerun exactly. <laughs> I am stupid. That is 6. What about 5? What about 5? Oh, 5 I use Balloon Party, Eternity, and Charlie. Okay, I'll do that then. I don't know why I use that combination. It seems a bit stupid, but... Okay, so this, this, with Badoon Party, and Phil. So this is my first team to beat this. Oh, did, I already forgot how this one works, so... After the carry cast a single target ultimate, damage deal. No one's single target ultimate. This is... And then I use Hopscotch on you. Charlie, I use this. These are the three five star we get, so it should be accessible for everyone. Like is like whatever. I just put the this. I put my healing one for now. I don't remember that I did that or not. Let's go. So let's see. Right, I remember now. So um, this guy, it's really hard. So it's always good to check what they do before you just dive into it, ooga booga. Yeah. So after entering battle for every 3 rounds afterwards, though one silver bullet. Silver bullet after the castle attack, subject the main target to 3 rounds of reality defense 20%, minus 1 stack after trigger. So every 3 rounds lose 1 silver bullet, so you will get... So basically, that being said, her ultimate round will have 1 silver bullet. So her ultimate does so much damage, and I don't know why I run this team. It just seems stupid now. So your aim here is to kill the adds. Because when the caster HP is buff, damage taken is this. So you want to kill the adds. The reason why is the adds has um, it minus one moxie. It can minus one moxie. The other one does like penetration damage and it hurts. The boss, you, ha you just have to tank it um, or try to seal his her movements. The young protector. You just have to seal the movements, basically. Um, so yeah, let's do this. So for me, let's see. so what I normally like to do is just—it should be the same pattern. So there's always a one star of the same copy of something in the beginning. So I want to get remove the the snake first because um, the snake. There's penetration damage. You want to try to like not get damaged too much. So now next round I will get a ultimate. So I'm gonna do a small heal here. Actually. No no, I can do this. Do this. And then I will throw. This one because we're gonna hey. heal next round, then it kind of just beats the purpose of the hat. Okay, there goes the snake. Okay, it's fine. That is not good. Okay, it's fine. Okay, we're gonna ult. Here. We're gonna do one here. We're gonna do this. That should be okay. Charlie should be getting 2,000 heals. And then you kill the um... Thing. I did 
hit and kill the thingy is fine. It's, it's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Oh, there goes Charlie. And that's what that's where you start restarting. <laughs> um I think I made a mistake for bring hold on. Let me exit real quick. I think I bring uh I did a mistake for bring Grand Orchestra. Because most of my use arcane to remove arcane skill. You can see there's like these ones. So timekeepers mark C use arcane skill gives you plus four, move plus three, merge plus two, recovery plus five, starting mark C is fifteen. And then this one is use arcana, move arcana, merge incantation. So this has a lot to do with merging and stuff. It depends on your start, like which one was is better for you. Um, for this stage alone, I think Melody might be better because lots of my character on two star, like Balloon Party, have extra counter, so that would be a huge thing, and it's cheap to get to. So yeah, do that. Let's redo. So yeah, you can see it's always the same pattern. There's always going to be one that has a pair, and that one you should try to merge it, in my opinion. Because if you merge it, you get two moxie. So one moxie from moving it, one moxie for merging it, and then you use it. Um, obviously I don't want to use it now, because firstly, Charlie Troop is basically... You get positive or stats up, this attack does more damage. So I don't want to do that. Don't want to use it right now, as we speak. So I'm just gonna move it. The two start at the back. And then I'm just gonna Man, choose eternity. Try for free. Try for free. My child, here's something fun for you. So now if I have a 50-50 chance to get the hat, it will merge, but it didn't, so it's fine. So I'm gonna change my strategy here a little bit. Um, so basically I get hit really hard, right? Then get 50% lower. So I'm just gonna use the hat. This, and then damage wise, this one does more. So take do it this. easy. Hopefully take out the snake. Hopefully. Oh I have to speed up just Okay, there you go. That's one, and then that's a hopscotch stack as well. Nice. Very good. Um Gonna ultra well, and then hold on. So for this one, I kinda want to. Let me think. Mm, do I need to heal heal now? Actually, you know what? I'll heal now. So I'm gonna do this. Do I want to do this first? Wait, doesn't this... wait, what? Wait, hold on. Doesn't this gain one balloon party to all allies? Wait, so why doesn't it... why doesn't it have the arrow? Huh? Wait, what? Stupid to use her all right now. Yeah. That's a positive up. Why didn't I get the positive? Why it keep hitting the back line? Hello? Oh my god. Um, I'm low key kind of mad. Hold on. Ocean dried and I'm alone again. Wait, this RNG is so bad. I don't know why I use this team. This team is just awful. Foolish. Okay. Please, 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 please. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? So can it be it can be this spell, it seems like. It can be this spell. So um 
Can do this. this. Shall be my only Take it easy. Okay. Can, okay, it dispels, so there's no kind of. Wait, I'm stupid. There's no silver bullet in the beginning. Try for free. Try for free. Okay, and then heal. Hopefully that's enough. It will do a single target ultimate, so it's fine. It hit Charlie. Of course it hit Charlie. What the hell? What the hell? I had two beefy unit and it decided to, you know what, RNG, screw you. You you can go you can go KYS. You can go and FYS. I, I what what was that? Like that that RNG is terrible. But yeah, um the only downside about this game I would say is how RNG it is like the targeting is you can't see the targeting i think that's the only downside you can't predict who to heal or what to do i think that's the only downside about this game let me think so do this, do this. i'm gonna do this I think. yeah handle it gently the ocean dried and i'm alone again <laughs> Unlucky. My child, here's something fun for you. Hey. But this this stage is basically you you use something that can try to like um solo it. So right here, I'm trying to like. Do I wanna? Oh, I kind of wanna. And then merge here. I'm not sure can I do it in time. Hopefully I can. This one I want to do this. It will counter, it will do about 1200 to this. Well, only 600 because it's a single target all. So. Okay, this is good. We won. So, we won, basically. We'll do this. Actually, what? Wait, wait, hold on. Do the alt first. And then you get Moxie. Yep. And boom. Would you buy me a you drink? The ocean but yeah, um, this one you take out the ads, <laughs> you take out the minions out, and then Flying you just help. Some people say that you, you can't easy. really do damage with Hopscotch, it depends it's how you utilize it. So I try to let Eternity Don't like last hit really. as much as possible. Uh, also, I want to mention that I didn't do this while Eternity was this level because my, obviously my characters are stronger now previously i did it with like level 40s and lower really the i2 level 40 30 so it's doable being i2 lower than what it's recommended obviously it's more challenging i'm not saying it isn't but yeah so this team this one i think i did this and the reason why was so i think who took hopscotch? I think you took hopscotch. And then you took this. And then A9 was like, whatever, you take whatever you want. I think this was it. The reason why I bring Sonetta to this fight is because the trash bag attacks two. Like, they hit you twice. Like, every round. And it just, it's just like, what the heck. Attack on an enemy of silence and enjoy damage this. Also, you get silenced by the all. It's just like, oh, it's so annoying. The trash bag, I would say, is harder than Limbo 6 first half. Limbo 6 second half was slightly easier. I think this was one of the most challenging stage. Uh, for this one, I also bring first melody because Sonetto's disarm is so important in this one. So yeah. So let's see what we start. Oh, that's a good start. So you can see, you have to take four damage. So Sonetta, this is why I felt like, oh, okay, Sonetta is very important because firstly you can have some damage reduction and this arm. And enough said, right? So yeah. Um, for me, I don't remember how I did this, but I thought to myself, okay, I can tank the first hit. So I did this. I did, this I, oh? I did that at the beginning. I so I buff and debuff at the same time. 
And that's a terrible move. Um, but yeah. And then I... See? So this is where you're like, okay. Reset or like this. Reset. Do I have it? Nope. Nope. So this is why you want to bet on the RNG. You wish one of the trash bag attack all of them. And this is where you're like, okay, I have an option. Either I get enough moxie like this, or disarm it. The best scenario here is just to disarm and also get beacon off. So I think Sinesto is dead here. And then you restart the round. Just like that. You just restart. It's, it's a battle of RNG basically. There's no correct solution of oh, how you should play it. But the idea is to try to disarm and wish RNG is nice to you. So... You know what I can do here? I think I can just do this so we can have an arc. Okay. I think the best one is to have damage taken then. Have a cure. I did this all I2 at that time. So we're trying to not take a of of I3 to demonstrate how it should look like. But yeah, then do this, do this. So now you disarm the free attack obviously, right? Don't be so and then do this. Reality, my reality, reality disarm. And then you get hit again. Now, you're like, okay, what do I do now? So, obviously, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna attack at the same time. And then this on this. So, at least take away two attacks. You have to tank sometimes. Your aim is just to take away, kill one of the trash bags. Nothing else. So it's gonna do like a really strong single target. And you're like, okay, hope the other one doesn't hit again. So here I'm like, okay, what can I do here? Nothing really, right? So you reroll, hope you get two of this. Nope, it's fine. Just damage reduction again. Do this. And then you save the all for next round. You don't do it. You never beacon all on on ultimate rounds. The reason why is if you do, then it will take one round away, and that's just a waste, really. So for here, oh god, this is terrible RNG. So for here, I would like to. This is terrible. I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna do that. This. Wait, I screwed up. 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 What? Becomes dead. I screwed up. I. I mean. At this point, I don't know can I even do it. Um, oh, okay. I mean, it's fine. Normally, you need all three, but let's try. I, I don't know. I haven't redo since I beat this once. Oh wait, actually, we could possibly kill one of them. Maybe. Oh, oh no! Oh wait. You know the HP is really misleading. Oh, okay. Oh, that is not good. Oh no. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping. If I do this, it's a waste. Because it the heal will go to the heal will go to A nine. Hold on, let me let me think about this. So now I take less time. I think this is bad. 
This is a terrible run, by the way. This is not what I was meant to show you. Normally, you need three, all three to actually beat this. So I'm hoping RNG A9. No! Okay, three run. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, because Sinetto is weak to star, right? If they somehow manage to ult your Sinetto, the run is over as well. Um, that's the other thing that I want to talk about. So, um, here, here, do this. Um, hopefully we'll get a merge on the one stars. It didn't happen. And that's a free damage for the fight. Oh, when you see this scenario, normally you just want to reset. Because no matter what you do, it's like... Yeah, they're gonna hit you twice instead of one time. But I'm just gonna carry on. I don't know, would the RNG be nice to me? Okay, so there's the merge. God damn it. <laughs> We still have the power up, so right now I could do one clap. Or, yeah, I could do one clap, so I'm gonna do this. One clap. One Sinesh Ball. And one. Yeah. I'm gonna get ulted twice here, which is not ideal. This is why it's terrible. If it was one carry, it's always better if they ult in a different round. That's where you can actually like, kind of like, change the aggro and rerun. So Limbo is all about if you have the mentality to like, restart again and again and again. It's, it's just, it's just that tedious. Uh, so I personally think like damage reduction and um, debuff, two star, one star, same thing. It's just slightly more damage or not. What's that? So, I believe in you. Oh? Mm -hmm. I try to help the ingredients of this time. Oh, that's good. It's alright. Um, so, for this one, I'm just gonna do. Let me check something. That doesn't give you extra. Most part, defeating so loud. So wait, why would I do that? I hear something. What's that? Merge gives you extra. Okay, let's do this. Heart is beating so loud. We're just gonna Radio do so much damage. Boom. Typhon won't give up his friends. Neither will Thunderbeam. This is the best scenario. You got a beacon ult. You have a sofa B ult. And I got RNG dropped over. So this is the best scenario where you ult here. So I don't have this, unfortunate because I spend it from last round. But this is the best scenario where you can get a disarm and negate two of the attack and just pray that one of the ultimate doesn't do anything. So for this one, since I'm gonna heal a little bit, I think I will heal about a thousand or something. So I'm just gonna do one clap and then do this and then do this. Oh yeah, what's interesting is the way they put it because normally once you ultimate right, I'll just show you you see the five little gold coins, your moxie if you do this and this, you actually get one moxie for the next round so basically you expend it all your moxie and then you can you get in one moxie the only reason why I did this is because I want my ultimate to do more damage I see you don't get that one extra moxie now, which is terrible but it's fine, because that's what I wanted to do. Um, there's another option is I reroll everything. So, which I will do. I hope there's a disarm. That's great, that's what I wanted. So, this is gonna do this. 
So I don't want to do more damage, it's fine, but then I want to do this one. I, know what this is. I think, I personally think this one. As soon as you have um, negative, like the status effect down, you still do lots of damage as speed. Uh, hopefully we'll kill one bag here. This is the kit. Well prepared then boom. For uh, no, it was so close. It might die from the poison though. Okay, so we got lucky. We got really lucky. That we got really lucky. Uh, I don't know what to say. So gonna do this. Oh, so we get penetration. It's gonna heal based off. What happens when you when the ally dies? It gain loss extra HP times thirty percent and damage dealt plus thirty. Wait, let me think about this. Yeah. The reason why for this one as well, you get penetration rate from the ultimate. So, there's that. He heals. And then it's... There's that. And then, um, so be still silent. So here I'm just gonna reroll. Hope I hit a two. I did. So now it's easier to figure out how to fight this guy now, right? So um, for this one, I'm just gonna do this and this. Since I can't use Sofa B anyway. Boom. It's, it's it's easy now. You just. You just hope that you um, don't die. That, that's about it, really. So I'm gonna do this. Do I? No, reroll again. This is why rerolling is very important. So you do this, merge, and then you try to kill it, and then you're just gonna get altered. Now, if even one of your unit dies, it's fine. So maybe it aims. Beacon, that's perfect. That's even better. Now none of my unit dies. And then I just do the same thing again. And then do this. I should be able to win this. Yeah, as soon as you kill one trash bag, it's easy mode. Win! GG. That's the bullfly. Profile. I Fun. don't want to be shunted to some okay. There you go, number five. Oh. I can't believe I actually did it that little restart. That was slightly unexpected. Um next up, number six. It hurts me to restart, but it's fine. Yeah. That's fine. At least we got all the rewards. That's what that is. Okay. So let's see the stage info. Let's break it down actually. Let's have a full map. So this one is simple. You kill the you kill the minions first, like these five soldiers. Then you hit the police woman. Or you do it while you're hitting her at the same time. This is basic Soneto. Um she can disarm you as well. She can do extra buff and stuff. Also, I'll teach you how to look at is it one star, two star as well in a bit. And secondly, you can you have to kill these. So once you kill these soldiers, she get this defense shred basically. Look, when an ally dies, reality defense and mental defense is minus ten. So the faster you kill them, the better. The second one is basically regulars and Mr. Apples. As you can see, there's a continuous action AP plus one. When an ally dies, AP plus one gains immunity dis disarm status. So basically, Sonetto is useless in this one. And then um, this one also has disarm status. And when the ally dies, AP plus one. This one, you kind of want to aim the captain to kill him. Her. I know she has like double of the HP of Apple, but if you have like lots of mass attack. You basically bring kill the apple first and get regulars, it's fine as well. At that time she'll be below 50% HP because you're gonna focus her more than Mr. Apples. 
Once you kill Regulus, it's easy mode as well, it's just like a trash bag. Once you killed one, the second one is just easy. Um, so there's, there's no worries about that. So I'm just going to demonstrate how it's done. So for this one, uh, I remember clearly how I beat this one. So I'm pretty sure it was Eternity I used. It was also Sonetto and Balloon Party. I was trying to use Charlie for the second half. So this is how I beat the first one, I think. And then for this one, I use these. At that time, I don't have that. And then her healing one, I took this instead of the Sofa B one. Reason why is she doesn't have any debuff incantation. So I'd rather have her have damage taken reduction. It's more important in my opinion. And for this one alone, you just bring first melody really as well. Um, it depends on your team. Um, normally, I if you want to have hard-hitting units that cast like NND for example, great with Ar Grand Orc. I think I will do a guide on which to bring for which characters better in the team. So like NND um, will be great using Grand Orchestra for example because her skill get auto up upgrade and her one of skill that goes to free star can daze basically stop someone to move one turn, which is amazing. First melody is easy to use because you can reset, and secondly, the the generation for this one is cheaper than this one because this is fifty, I think. You use fifty for generating the special one versus forty, which is ten less. And it just and also every time you use one incantation, it increases the eight like the cost of it. So 40 to 50, 60, yadi yadi. This one will become 50, 60, 70. It's it's basically more cost costy. But um, it depends on how you use it, obviously. So this one I also was gonna bring first melody. I personally like the orchestra one. But first melody is just easy to use and lots of characters have strong two-star like Sonetto and Balloon Party. Also, I'm going to show you my Resonant. So the she had Resonant 9. Greetings. I beat this with level 50 and Resonant 6 on this. Oh, resonant 3. Nice nice like my Resonant isn't that impressive. Um, I'm going to show you Resonant hmm? 9 on you. Can I, I help beat you? that. I beat Sorry. the second half of Melania with Resonant plan, 8 so with level 10, I'm I think. Or was it level 5? Hmm? Can one I of them. Um, Sofa B, Resonance 7, party. didn't change much. Uh, I'm Charlie, I'm I didn't use Char uh, Charlie, oh yeah, I did. Okay, Resonance 6 and level 50, Resonance 8, level 50, and Resonance 8. But yeah, bad. Resonance is important for your main DPS at least. Let's do this. Anyone offer your siege to the seniors? So here. Where you want to target is the salt, like these minions. So to get her this thing, okay. get this the stable corporation thing to go down. So you want to get it as low as possible. At the end, she will have no mental defense and reality defense. So um, I'll show you when it becomes a two star. So this one, she used a one star buff. So right here, you can. T I'm gonna tank it. So I'm just gonna do this. this. Yeah, not gently. Yes. Take it easy. Hey. Um. My child, here's something fun. So the you. aim here is try to do mask attack a lot. Like you see why I like to have the one star in the beginning. So there's a chance of it to like merge. This is really unlucky in terms of everything because right now I don't even have. So I can do this and avoid one attack right now so I can do this right now and then right here is like I'm just gonna merge and then we'll heal next round mm. okay here's the ult good um, so right now I want to heal, and then I want to do this, 
and then I want to get I want to get rid of this so there's a chance of me getting this off. Next round we're gonna use the balloon party so she gets her alt. The ocean dried and I'm alone again. So let's try to like kill the minions as soon as fast as possible. We almost killed it. It's gonna die to balloon party. God damn it, no. Wait. No, it dies to balloon party. Okay, that's one less stack. So here is like terrible. We restart. Great, there you go. And then uh actually I might do this. This, a sword and then so I think this is still a one star here. Yeah. So Take it easy. This. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Mm -hmm. This hope it kills, it did not kill. Why? He did not kill. It did not kill. Okay, so do you see? Do you see this? So basically, you see this line. It means it's a two star. If you see a line, it means two star. At the future, we'll see two lines, that means it's a 3 star. So that's a 1 star attack, 2 star debuff, which is her disarm basically. And then a ultimate. So, for this one, I wanna do... We already have damage reduction, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna save Sonetta all for next round. So here, we're just gonna do this. Yes. Hey. So we got Hopscot stat And then she's gonna take a couple hundred damage from her attack There you go I'm gonna get disarmed That is very unlucky, we have to redo it That is very unlucky Take thy sword, duel with someone Anyone That's very to unlucky. You? Uh, okay. So yeah, you can tell from like how many stars it is from the line alone. So, like I said, Limbo is always about doing this and restarting. This just nothing can do about it. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. I said hello. I know the and this is an alien city. Sempre caro mi tu questa bocola. No. Take it easy. Handle it gently. Try for free. Try for free. Flying handbag for only 3,000 paper donkeys. Break it. Break it. Radio Sereno in Ben Suarez. It's alright. And the reason why you want to kill this guy fast is because he also has pawn, which is annoying, and it does like damage reduction as well. So basically, that's like a huge damage loss for you. So yeah, that's why you wanna kind of like do it as soon as possible. Take it easy. We're just gonna do small heals. Good thing we haven't encountered the what's it called the counter early. Thank goodness to that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's two alt. We have one damage reduction, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I don't know why I decided this team is like. Oh yeah, it's it's this is the team. This is the team I want to use. Okay. Handle it gently. Each moment, now night. Oh, if I need the two star squid, I should have incantation. Oh my god, I'm trolling. 
I'm dead. I'm trolling. I will have tanked this. Okay. I, I could have tanked that. Oh my. Oh my god. Yeah. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Mm -hmm. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. Okay. Sorry. Right. Is there any two attacks? No. So this is like a two-star attack now. So you can see from here it becomes 240 percent reality. So for me, it's counter. What's the counter base off actually? Bang bang. Good ones. Oh, it's based off the defense. Okay, so for this one. Yes. Yeah. Next round we heal. Mainly you want to save your disarm for people who does like two attacks. For example, a good example is this guy. The spear guy will do like a two attack and it's AoE, which is like really really awful. So here I look at my cards, I'm like, okay, what can I do at this situation? I think I'll just do this. And then do that. And then heal. Because I want her ultimate to come up right away and then her ultimate as well at next round and I can just nuke them while I have the buff at next round. So that's what I'm gonna do. Idea. I know and this is an alien city. Try for free. I'm just gonna tank it. It's fine. So now I can nuke them. It's fine. So she's gonna do a double buff. Which is like, ow. So good thing I'm gonna nuke now, cause she, he's about to like, on, and now you're like, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. So I'm gonna do this. Next round we have Balloon Party Ultimate, which lines up best good with the Sonetto. Nice, good, good damage. Okay. And then, nuke it, hopefully kill both of them. Nice. And now she's gonna have a damage route. So now you can see this red thing. I'll show you. Hold on. Oh, this one is fine. Oh, she's gonna do a two star. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's okay. Basically, you look at this, you're like, oh yeah, look, reality defense, and it cannot be purified and can stack. So basically, you want to get this to zero as soon as possible, and at that time, she's a paper. But yeah, um, for this one, let's see, yeah. Baton is not the problem here. The problem is will I die from it? So I'm gonna re-roll here. Mm, okay, it is. Okay, good. So what I'm gonna do here is because it's an AOE. So I'm gonna do this. Let's see. Three thousand six hundred fifty-eight. I think she only does about. So if that's the case, I'll do this, do that. I'm pretty sure I will live. Pretty sure I will live here though. Do I wanna risk it for the biscuit for a bigger play? Here's the thing. If I heal now, I will, my HP will down to 50% again. Anyways. And this is based off loose lost health. Mm. You know what? Screw it. So long lives this, and this gives power to thee. I'm a risk taker. Come on. Please, baton guys. Just hit. Just hit eternity. For once. Please hit eternity. Please hit eternity. Okay. Moment of truth! I'm pretty sure it only does that 2000. Don't be so hard. I'm oh, this is an alien city. Oh, we're good! We good! Okay. We're good. Oh my god, we good. Okay. Uh... Mm. Take it easy. 
easy. Back to 80%. Huh? We have six round left. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Let's see. I think we need to heal. Because this guy does like a really strong single target. And it also has like increase of damage taken. You know what? Now. Honestly, I can have added a two star buff, but it's fine, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's good. There we go. Oh, this is bad. I don't have any eternity. Oh. Oh, this is. Hmm. <sighs> And it's a two star. It's a two star counter. No. Okay, you know what? I have to. I have to. Okay. We want to kill this guy as soon as possible. And then, if I really want to, let's ensure this guy to die. Take it, eat, handle okay. it gently. Question is, what do I want to eat? do here? Mm. I'm pretty sure this guy's dead. How much HP he has? Oh yeah, he is dead. Uh, mm. The reason why I did this first than this is because I want to ensure this kills. If it doesn't, it's fine. Um, best it does, and if it does, then and she get one reduced defense. Wait, what? If if it gets one uh, reduced defense, then um. Wait, what? What happened? Did my stream go boom? Oh no, it's fine. Okay, so if this guy dies, then I have a reset on the defense shred. Then it will hit this guy and this guy, and then it has a minus ten. So instead of like doing like twenty percent, it would be like thirty percent. So it'd be a 10% increase. So that's why I did this instead. I hope this kills. I'm pretty sure it will. And right now I'm just deciding what to do here. Maybe like the heal will be great. Mm. You know what? I'm just gonna build a party. I'm pretty sure it kills. If it didn't, it's fine. Look. It kills it. That's fine. I'm gonna balloon party out because there's a two double two star attack. Just seems a bit scary. Okay. Boom, boom. Ugh. And then we get like heal as well. Perfectly uh, fine. Let's do this. this. Hopefully this kills. I hope it does, not really. I don't think I will beat it in time, this time around. I don't know how I beat it. Oh wait, oh wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. Oh wait a minute. Okay. Oh wait a minute. Um... Ooh. Let me think this through. We have the damage reduction. I think what we need is a... Uh... That's not what I was thinking. That was not what... Uh, I could have made a 2 star health. Take it easy. I just... Yes. Okay, go. A little bit hot God damn it. God damn it. God. Okay. I still have two rounds. Now she has no of that buff. Okay, please. I should be fine. Oh my god, that is scary. No! Take thy sword. Duel with someone fair and square. 
I believe in you. Depict the world I have never seen before. I'm not I sure. Is so this is enough? And this gives power might to be. Each moment, now night. She does like 4,000. I forgot to check the HP. No, it's not enough. No! It was so close. Reroll, please. Please. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Copium. 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 Yes. Pride goes before the fall. I've been there. Okay. You better this take demonstration is get is on my. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Hi. Oh my God! You just witnessed. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm just resetting my dreams and redoing it. Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> okay, for this one, I I try I, I tried this comp basically. I tried to use this 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 and this because back then I don't have Melania. Is your eternity I free, bro? No, it isn't. My eternity is I too. Which is why it's harder because I don't have the damage buff. Look, she's I too. It's always good to have you here, no matter if you. She's her I three is a significant buff. Look, your damage dealt and your damage heal plus five. So basically, you heal and do more damage, and it stacks to five. So that's like twenty five percent for both. So I I I basically nerf myself. If I can get her insight free, she the the run will have been so much smoother. She can basically solo the first half by her own, without doing anything else. That's how strong she is for this run. But I, I don't have her I3, so that's why I was showing that you can do it. Can, you can do this without um, i 3 most of them. Uh, the only I3 I have right now is Melania. And she's my first I3 as well. I'm telling you right now, I was so stressed about this. Resetting this is so stupid. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I, initially, I wanted to do this comp. But no matter what I did, or the amount of I tried, I tried this like three, four days in a row. It just didn't work out. And at that time, I have lower level as well. And I, and I, I tried to farm out the resource stage to the point where I made them level 50. And it still didn't work. So my conclusion at that time was I have to have Melania. This is the call. I must have Melania. Um, not that. Yeah, I I must have Melania. That was my conclusion. That I need something to take away their Moxie. I need something to seal their ultimate, which is Beacon. And need some sort of healing and sub DPS is so for me. So. I mean, why would you reset it? Because I want to show you guys it was possible to clear all these with I-250 and one I-3. Some people demonstrate like, I know there was like this whale guy who just have everything I-3 level 60 and beat the stage. I say, woohoo, this is a showcase. I'm like, it's pay to win. There's no skill involved. There, there's also a content creator that I really love. Her name is Dreamy. She beat this with... Um, what did she beat it with? I think it was Scarecrow. So she beat this with... Um, what is it? Rabies. She beat it with Rabies. And Beacon. And also, who was the extra one? I think it was someone who shields. Was it Eric? No, it was not Eric. I think it was... I forgot, was it Miss Moist? It, it, with Eric. Yeah, yeah, you just beat it with ra Rabies and Beacon. And I forgot who was, who was it. Um, There was also an extra. Hold on. I'll be right back. Let me see. She beat it with. Um, 100% there was Rabies. I am 100% sure it was Rabies. Um, who she beat it with? Okay, she beat it with I2 
level 50 rabies, I to level 30 beacon, I to level 30, I to level 30 the fool, I to I to level 50 alien T. That's how he beat how she beat it. She beat it with the full alien T, rabies and beacon, and the beacon was lower level as well. I finished Le Limbo 6 Dick Start as a free to play. Congratulations! It's crazy how she did it as well. And then the old I2. So it is possible to beat this with I2 level 50 all. It depends on your character's kit as well. It really depends on the kit. I think Sasuke is actually really good. I. Copian wise, I think she's really good. Look, look at her, her inside. Ray Beast literally does 15k damage like my other. Yeah, it does. It's it's crazy. Like it does crazy damage because Ray Beast have lots of penetration. Uh like like does look. It has oh no, it does bonus reality damage. Lots of reality damage. Bonus reality. If the target stacks down negative, it does a percentage of reality damage. Look. It's so scary, and it's so easy to portray Max as well. And look, the ultimate does a penetration rate. This game has a very hard stat to get, and the two of them. One is penetration rate, in my opinion. Penetration rate, I don't think you can get it apart from Resonate. Wait, can you get it from Resonate? No, basically, I, I don't know can you get it from Resonate, but it's one of the hardest stats you can get. Have you finished your number? Yes, I have. I only reset it because I want to dem like showcase that I beat it how I beat it with my own team. And then um the uh, what I was okay, back to what I was saying that um hmm? the other hard stat to get you? is ultimate might. Sorry. Ultimate might is a very hard thing to get. Plan, so so Melania's top nice. student is actually really OP. It's super OP. And from what I heard from Tien, she is still very far, uh, far, like she's still very strong DPS. You can do use her for all, all content from one to one point one to one point four. So you're gonna have like a good steady free patch of. She's gonna be so strong, basically. Obviously, there will be more DPS coming, but that doesn't make a character irrelevant. I could say the same for, okay. For Beacon, right? Beacon has the same spot as the guy we're gonna get. His name is um let me just check his what's his English name? His English name is Shemaine. Um so if you don't know, Shemaine is a 1.3 um a guy who does also does like some sort of like debuff. So the position of Simba but that doesn't make Beacon irrelevant anymore. Beacon is still the best free to play unit. And you're also gonna get more of her when um, Two Fairy is out. I think it's the same banner with Two Fairy, yeah. Manali is so strong. I spent 45 pool on her, but still didn't get her. Yeah, he's hot though. Yeah, Shemaine is, is a hot guy. He, like, he's hot and he's strong as well. This P5 apparently does tons of damage. And P1 is very usable. Like P0 is very usable already. Lots of characters on P0 is very usable. Just like Melania. People say, oh yeah, you need P2, you? yadi yadi. But P2, yeah. You get a Thief Master. If you don't know what's Thief Master, it's basically it gives you an extra um status where you can take away on her incantation. It gives it steals one moxie basically and gives one moxie an extra leech rate so it basically gives her more moxie or um, takes away one moxie basically um, that's her thief master and having p2 means you get an extra stack so you can do two you can take away two moxie instead of just one moxie what's your plan for the next pool though my plan i'm gonna pull everything one copy at least so I'm gonna have Melania's gonna get Pickles, I'm gonna get Two Fairy, I'm gonna get um Ch Chang Ling, Change Ling or Shang Ling, Chang Ling. I'm gonna get everyone one, P0. I don't plan to get portrait two on Two Fairy, despite everyone say that. So basically 
I think it's more important to have more coverage than having a portrait. Yeah, two is really important for Melania, but I would save for two after I get Melania. Is that even possible? It is possible if you're lucky. <laughs> um, I'll show you right now. I'm not. I'm not free to play. Just to clarify. I'm not free to play. What a nice day. I have monthly that card and battle pass and stuff, to... but um, I still have lots of currency. I I I I am a dolphin whale. I'll just I'll I'll be frank with you. I'm a dolphin whale. Um. I still have so many pools. I still have. I got Melania already in 40 pools along with Anna Lee. So basically, I got lucky with it. I got bailed out by the banner itself. So that's why I still have so much currency. Everything is possible, my friend. You need to believe. Yeah, you have to believe in yourself, especially. I don't have a ritual in pooling. I can't. Sh like, I wish I can share, like, oh yeah, do the wheel slowly. You get two six star. I didn't get two six star in one multi, by the way. I, I got Anandi after all my 40 pulls because I'm an idiot. But Anandi is strong, so that's a great loss on 50 50. And I, I'm guaranteed to get pickles. My luck and gadget game are rigged. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess that's what, like, it depends on everyone's um, luck, right? So, yeah. On Hold on. Give me one second, yeah. Tiny, lingering charm uh, the next right. Okay, so show. that's my plan. I, I plan to. Pull everyone P0. And my plan on leveling, I think my Melania, I'm gonna level up to 20. Stop there. Eternity level I3. Get Anandi to I2 level 50. That's my current plan. Also, I plan to get Beacon I3 as well. Her I3 is really strong as well. I'm not good at dealing with Her I3 gets it damage taken minus 20%. That is strong. That is really strong, especially like in this game, every boss does like four digit and minus twenty percent on that. Like you're you're taking like hundred damage away, hundreds of damage away. So it's really strong. And then oh, the welcome, I want to get I two first. Her I three seems to be more enhanced break time. So I think it's this one. No, this one. No, wait, wait what? Wait what? When a round starts, switches between break time and exorcist time status. When the caster enters exorcist time status, the caster right most incantation minus one. Oh, I see. And this, I just got her, so I'm really unfamiliar how her kit works. Um, enhanced break time effect, damage taken reduction plus fifteen percent enhanced damage bonus. Oh, she she's a really good sub DPS, and she's very good. Okay. So it's really good to have this to become plus one. Right, most incantation plus one star. That's really good. You can just put this on the most right and then it just become three star. Ooh. I see why she's very strong now. Let's see. And then I3 is kind of mad though. I think it's kind of strong. I think it's a very niche. I've also the break time damage reduction. Like it's okay. It's like a, a flip of a coin, right? It depends. So every odd round you get damage reduction and every even round you get damage bonus. So it's better to time the damage bonus together. So you get damage bonus and penetration rate on the ult. And it does kind of good damage, I'm not gonna lie. That's really strong. I got A9 X3, Eternity X1, Mad Madison Pocket. You mean Madison Pocket? <laughs> okay. Medicine Pocket X round, Regulus X1, Beacon X4 as a free to face, so I believe. That's really good luck. I'm not gonna lie. My account, not so good luck in terms of Charlie. Charlie Charlie is the reason why I got A9. And I've, I've, I'm ashamed to say I'm not gonna train Bonjour. A9 at all. Um, the reason why is I don't see the use of him at the moment. And secondly, like, my current because I started with Eternity in the beginning and at that time I thought Charlie was better. I still believe Charlie is a better unit I'm compared sorry. to A Knight at that time. So I didn't raise A Knight at all. I already was raising Charlie. So to me A Knight was like a surprise, an accident. So I didn't have enough resources to raise him. And I know like 5 star are cheaper to raise compared to a 6 star. And I have four 
I have like two six stars to raise already. So in terms of resource wise, I was like, okay, I, I can't train a knight. It was not possible for me. It's just 5% that makes it easy for me. 5%? What do you mean 5%? And then I free at 5%. Oh, I see what you mean. So ready damage taken reduction 10%. Oh, so ready. Oh, I see. Is it just an extra 5%? I see what you mean. I think in this game, percentage is kind of strong. Um, the reason why I say that is because if you go to Resonant, right? You see... Excuse me. Don't do quick load, by the way. Go look up online. There's so many guides. Don't do quick load. Um, I'm just doing this because... Um, I just want to see. So basically... If you see the resonant, right, you will feel the sick. You won't feel like oh, it, like the numbers are like nothing. But if you see like like these, if you click on it, it's like one percent, two percent, five percent is quite a lot. You imagine there's like five blocks of these, basically. It might be like doesn't seem a lot, but five percent is something. It's just like um, a good example. So Neto. Greetings. Today, There's a 5% increase every, on damage dealt and damage taken, but that 5% actually kind of like saves you a little bit. But man, Eternity I3 is really overpowered. Just solo Limbo 6 phase 1 with her. Exactly, you can solo with her with I3, but I purposely nerf myself. I can, I can I3 her here. already, just so that you know. I can change all the event Sharp Dante just to I3 her, but I didn't. And I beat it. I beat Limbo. Limbo 6 with her being I-250. It's possible. I I died in 6 round. How do you, how you do that, girl? Oh, you're talking about the I-3 thing. Because I-3, you also get damage it's healing as well. I-3, you, you get fam. You get damage, how much damage dealt you get. And also you get up to 25% in 5 rounds. Which is like OP. And also you're immune to stat down. So base and also cannot be dispelled. So that's really OP. My I3 internally can't do that, bro. I think it's your because of your resonant. I think your resonant and side shoe is important. And also your level. I, but I can do it with level 50, but I need teammates to help me to do that. I think you can try it. I mean you I probably have to retry a couple times to see if that's possible or not but um yeah let's do limbo stage six i'm just gonna show you how i done it instead so i because at first my plan was to use this these three to beat it and then at the end i'm like okay i can't do that so at the end i did this instead and then um the difference was i did hopscotch instead did i or did i use this yeah, I did hopscotch instead because I felt like the incantation is more important. The ultimate is more of a um Yeah. I think I did this. Or was it the other way around? I think I did this, yeah, because I thought okay, I need more base stat and incantation mine for her. Yeah, the case in my team one was like I2 level 10 to 20, eternity I3 level 3, resonant 10, and she just did all by herself. Exactly, I3 Eternity is just a solo queen. You, she is just great. It's just like Centurion, you can literally solo with it. So this is how I did it. Um, and I used first melody, I believe, as well. I think that's how I did it. Yeah. So in this stage, in this stage, you basically wanna um. You want to focus on Regulus. Nothing else but Regulus. And then once you kill her, you get killed the Apple afterwards. Apple's easy. You want to kill her first because when an ally dies AP plus one, she gets two AP each time. And that basically means she hits two three times. So AP is like these. These are your AP. And having three moves on it, it's, it's basically a death note. So yeah, um, let's do this. Mm. So my aim here is to try to get beacons all out as soon as possible. Mm. 
So right now I'm just thinking what I should do. So I I could do this or do that. Okay, you know what? I think I can tank the first round. Limbo five three trash bag has huge damage. What the? Yeah, that's true. Okay. So for this one, what I like about Melania is um uh, is. Her mouse thing? You can keep throwing the mouse. Okay. So here, as you can see, she has full Moxie, right? So right now, this is why Melania is so strong. So I can do this. And then. So I'm gonna do this. I know what this is. This. What's this? <laughs> this is the gift. Well prepared. Let's for see. Yeah. Okay. Decent damage. Two, one. Take one, one Moxie. Titan won't give Heal up. Heal again. Time. She's gonna have her ult again. Oh no. Okay. Fine. This is bad. Um. Okay. I have to tank the apple, so um clap this. Oh by the way, Beacon and Melania is not a good team. Um the reason why I say that is because you don't get to fully utilize this because um Beacon reduces reality but Melania hits mental, I think. Yeah. But the only thing you can benefit from this is the damage taken. For the enemy. The service 9-5 gave me more trouble. Lacking B can make the fight first as a regular so hard. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I managed to beat the 9-5 out and felt good. It is, yeah. Try to focus Apple first, he's really weak. I killed him at round three. I think killing him early is gonna make the run easy. I disagree. I disagree. Killing regulars is what you should be doing. Because if you kill Apple first, she will have three action points. The, right now, she can only do one action point in time. If you read, you, it's like continuous action. She can only do one to two moves. But if an ally does go, makes her do three moves. The only thing you should prevent her to do is her ulting you. If you kill her first, like eventually Apple will die. But if you kill her first, it's a, it's a trouble. Like kill Apple first is a trouble. So yeah. Gonna do, gonna do two rats instead. Gonna try to get Melania's thing up as yeah, soon man. as possible. Don't touch my bag! So this is bad. The the sun, as the apple drops to the okay. It's fine, it's fine. We good, we good, we good. That's fine. Okay, now we, we beacon all. Yeah, beacon all into this. I'm a bit sad we don't get the. You know what? Yes, yeah, perfect. This is perfect. I was able to kill it with Eagle Eye 2, which I infested with for specific and then Lee. It was the most fun battle so far. Yeah, this battle is actually kind of good. Ooh. Okay, good. Now she can't ult for the next few rounds. Um, okay. Do that. Actually. This is where I'm like, okay, I wish. I could have, um, yeah, it's fine. Um, I want to do this. No, you know what's fine. I will do this, this. Do I? Yeah, this, this, and this. Be careful, young man. Ah, oh, it needs to be mixed up. Okay. 
What? Or say what? Oh my god, that RNG is so bad. That was a terrible RNG. Wow. Okay. That that was that was unlucky. Wow. But yeah, th I think this is the downside about this game is you can get screwed by RNG. If the target's like AI's like, okay, let me just hit you twice. Dun, dun, dun. Goodbye. Uh can I still beat this? Let me think about it. Maybe. It's still possible. Hello, hello, hello. Got any I3s? I have I3 server be waiting for I2. My only I3 is um Melania right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's very important to have two healers. Like for both sides of um limbo. Very 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 important. Uh, I don't know can I do this without Sophie B. Sophie B is kind of a big deal. Oh I already just to just to be fair to the new viewers just joined, I already beat this. I'm just redoing it because I just want to demonstrate it's possible to do it with level 50 I2. So I have level 50 I2 for Beacon and Sofa B and Charlie. And then this is I3 level 12 at the moment. And Resonant is like 9... Uh, 977 I think, or 978. How did you finish 6-1? I just did it earlier on. If you want to re-roll the FOD, you can. Just to watch it, how I beat it. But basically, you just want to kill the minions. So the guards. And then you kill the Sonetto at the end. Because you want to get the real her, her defense down as soon as possible. It's all possible with 3 stars. Yeah, it's possible to do all 3 stars, yeah. Um, but yeah, I already cleared this already. I just I'm just redoing it right now, but I, I'm I'm kind of regretting it right now as we speak. But um, it's fine. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do. I think it's very important to get like. Oh, what the heck. An apple a day keeps the doctor. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Let me think. What's that? Uh -huh. What's this? Uh -huh. What I like about Melania is you can throw the rat as much as possible you want. You don't have to like do two free stacks on it. Don't touch my bag! Oh my god Oh my god, whoa, whoa, I never seen that before. Whoa. Or say, Whoa, what happened there? What just happened there? Huh? Yo, what the? Okay, hold on, let me think. I think we should do this. Do this, do this. Should we just take the Moxie away and pass Moxie 1? That's kind of a waste. No? Mm. You know what? Damn. This. Okay. Actually, I should have hit regular time. I'm stupid. Apple is the real boss here. Really? I don't think Apple is the real boss here. The show's on. Wait for five seconds. I still think regular ultimate is a is the real. You know what? We're just gonna do this instead. As soon as she, he doesn't ult him. Oh, well, surface one it was. But this limbo is so... Yeah, the limbo is very different. I agree. That's one ultimate stack. 
beat monster kick it. Oh my days, that damage. Extraction of the ring. You know what? I'm just gonna let him out. I feel like it's so. I know what this is. Handy. This is gonna do this. Because next round we're gonna get uh, beat from out. Be careful, young man. We're gonna get beat beacon out, and then we want to just reserve that. Yeah, need to seal that regular out. More hot archon is honest. We will, we will get it. 1.3, we're gonna get it. I'd rather take the apple out. Yeah. Yikes on the RNG. Okay, now we do this. We do this. Get a small heal. Hmm. Hold on. Let me think. The heal is based off her attack, right? Yeah, so making this 2 star doesn't make sense at all. You know what? This debuffs it. No, I'm trolling. Okay, this first into this. Bro, wait. No, what, what, what am I doing? Sorry. This first. This. This. Oh shoot. Oh my god, it's it's so different when you don't do the hang clap first. I'm a bit scared now because um Okay. Thing is, right. Wait, it's okay because she doesn't have the ultimate. The only thing that I'm scared of right now is she's gonna. Six is prettier than his friend in 1.5 is super buffed. Damn! Can't wait for the for the new the new patch and stuff. That'd be cool. So every heal is not instant hurts so much, I know. It's instant when it's I3. And Jesus Christ, I am scared. Uh, uh, please, 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 please. Okay, 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 that's okay. That is very okay. Uh Okay, we're gonna do this. <sighs> Shit. Uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do this. I'gosh. I'm gonna stick with this. I have so many I3 and I can tell you it's a game changer. Yeah, I3 so free is so good. I agree. I'm gonna get a speed out here. Yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, the timing! The timing is great. It's beautiful. We should listen Do to what this. Um, let me think. Uh, what would be good here? Hmm. How much does the rat give you for 2 star rat? 2 star rat, 180. It's just. It becomes 60%. It doesn't seem to change much here. We Gonna do this into Andy. a kick. Should I do a heal? I should do a heal. No, no, no actually, I should rap. I should rap, rap. I should rap. I should rap. Can I add you, bro, if you don't mind? Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, later on, I'll. But. Didn't even need. Didn't, I was overthinking. Exactly. There you go. 50 under 12 round. So yeah, that's how I beat all um limbo. There you go. Yeah, you can add me. Um I'll post my um ID in the YouTube chat.
Just give me a second. Um, feel free to add me if you want. Hold on, let me just see where is my ID. Yeah, um, feel free to add me. Here you go. Feel free to add me. But yeah, that's that's how you do it. Oh, Limbo. What a nice day. There'll be such a large uh, audience. But yeah, uh, it was so e it's so much easier with Melania. Like I I knew I need Melania to beat it because I had no one trained. Like I don't have Drufus. Drufus will smash that stage. By the way, I don't have Drufus. I don't have Anan Lee at that time, so I can't daze. I don't have anything that does CC other than this arm. So I was in the I was in trouble. I was in deep trouble. I didn't know what to do. So I thought to myself, okay, I'll just wait for Melania. I can get her eye freed, and it will be much easier. Did a couple retry as well, and yeah, there you go. Damn, it's gonna be hard for me first to sim, but I think if you're free to play, right, and if you have Satsuki, I think she's great in this mode. Because if you read the Tasha made, I'm just gonna call her the Petrifying Suicide Bomb. The reason why is, this says when the cutter dies, inflict petrified status on the enemy with the highest attack for two rounds. So, you can use her as a sacrifice, as I I won, just to petrify at the right time. She would just petrify the target. It's and then she can also like uh petrify with the rigidity. You'd be like, oh, but you need two, right? And then you're like, but if you read her first I won, when the caster enters battle, inflict one stat of rigidity on all enemies, and it triggers one time. So basically the target already have rigidity. And then you just time your petrify. Pew bang. Can't move. Your ID not found? Did I post it the wrong ID? Oh it's okay. I'll just No, this is my ID. The light is on. It's Did I post it the wrong one? This is my ID. No. Four zero zero eight nine seven three zero one. No, it works. Now you're good, my friend. You can't copy. Yeah, you can. You can copy it. Look, you go here. Copy. Copied. There you go. Oh, see you guys. There you go. Oh, there's so many of you. Okay, there you go. I still wish, other than uh, the friends, there's more to it in the future, hopefully. We can get to like do like some sort of like coll collab, like co-op. Um, game because this is still like a single a single player game at the moment. Is do is like using the Nani for plus one Moxie Lenani. I didn't raise these. I only raised them to this point for the mission. I didn't raise them more because I knew I won't be using them in the future. I think it's great for free to play. Uh, Eagle great unit, but if you have Beacon, even better. For people that does does like no pull challenge, she's a great unit, I'll say. But if you do pull, I think B conscious takes over the eagle spot completely. You're here. Completely. But yeah. Milani plus two Moxie. Yeah, I think yeah. It's really good. Really good good sub DPS I would say. Please teach me. They made a survey about that. What survey? But yeah, I. My feet. I can't move my feet. Uh, I think I want to redo my island soon to get more um. Get more of the thingy, bygo. I kind of want to do it now. The fried system. What's the fry system? Sorry, I have no clue what's the fry system. I'm just looking what I can place right now. 24, 24. There are like... I'm not sure are these ponds like... Are these like... Uh-huh. 182. One eight two. 
1890. I'm just looking for. You know what I hate about this is the is the fact you can't find the tiles you want. Like I need to find them one by one. I think that's the only thing that I hate about it. So that's why I, if I tend to do is like reset the whole island, and it's just like oh, it's such a pain in the ass. Like I need to find that specific tower that only does like six. So this one has eight. Like nope, that's not the right one. And then you go back and find that tile again. The friend system. <laughs> okay. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they may have run- Oh, survey about the friend system. I'm still able to reach a thousand knife with the new limited buildings. Yeah, I want to do that as well, but um, I want to get uh, more Feigl as well as soon as possible. So nice I can day. get more bonus. At that the moment, I can't buy them. I don't have enough. Still missing a little bit. I think I can get the big band so I can get a thousand seven hundred first. Hold on, let me just do that real quick. Do that real quick. Yeah. Where's it? Where's the shelves? How much I have? I need 180, right? Yeah. Let's do that for now. But I think I need this first. Everyone else is ready. Uh, bank. Alderness. <laughs> Hit the big ban or was it? This is no. Yeah, big ban first. Get the big band. So at least I get a thousand. Thanks, my friend. Let's go. It's 2 a.m. here. Oh, let's go to sleep. Have a good rest. Goodbye. Thanks for joining in the stream. Uh, looks like island is worth buying compared to building since building doesn't cost island notes. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I think building is the best option for free to play, especially because um um what's it called? Because it's not limited by the amount of placements you can do compared to anything else yeah so i think it's the best option to use like look i plus 38 now so right now you can get up to plus 40 percent i think that's the maximum you can do also you can get more people in the island maybe like plus one more but yeah it's a pretty big deal right now like getting like about higher five or Ooh, 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 I've I never seen this, wow, that is, that is cute, okay. That is so cool, up close. Orange building only it seems, the yellow and purple value seems not worth, I think as a free to play, if you're free to play, yeah, purple value and, um, and, like, lower tier, anything lower than orange and gold, I think is bad. What team are you going for, I'm going for poison team, uh, I'm going for everything. I I'm going for like I'm gonna pull everything by one copy at least. I'm not going for like the specific teams. If you're going for poison team, I think it's very important for you to go like two fairy like two portrait. If you're saving, obviously. Um, if you're going to specifically, I personally like to go like whatever. I I'm more like a situational player. If I see, oh a. A place like okay, let's say you can't take Moxie from the boss, then obviously I can't use Melania anymore, right? Then I'll go with my poison team. But if it's like oh the boss doesn't take any poison, then I'll go Melania's for example. I like more of a range playstyle compared to like just specific teams. But if your options are limited and from the likes of it, I think Poison Team is seems like the lowest budget compared to any team. Because um the P0 Portrait Zero team, like the Poison Team specifically, Chang Ling, Sofa B, um who else is in the Poison Team? I think it's two fairy defined on P0. It's the best free to play team you can have and they do so much damage already. And they heal, they, they're very sustainable as well. Uh, I think any teams like... All teams pizza was fine. You don't have to go like... Portrait. Beacon is the third I Oh yeah, okay, Beacon. There you go. Beacon is the third... Oh right, because you have Sofa B that heals, right? My bad. Yeah, so you go Sofa B, um, Changling and Beacon. You're, yeah, you're right. For the debuff, absolutely. My bad. Um, and then... For like people who want to like play Black Dwarf team, I think it's two fairy Black Dwarf with 
um, Jamain, I think that's the team. Melania is like a really good unit in terms of she can go into any team. Obviously, I think it's Melania, Shemain, and uh, Anandi is fine. Uh, who else? Who else? A healer, maybe, actually. Uh, Balloon Party is fine. Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy. Yeah, Shemain, Melania, Tooth Fairy. Yeah. I think that's the three teams I can think of at, at the moment. There's also Black Dwarf team, which is like. Uh, Black Dwarf team is Black Dwarf, Shemaine, and Tooth Fairy as well. I think lots of teams team use Tooth Fairy. That's why Tooth Fairy's value is so high per, compared to any any comps, like in terms of any priority units. But I because DPS can always be replaced, right? So, and you know this, I don't believe in power crept because. The term power crap means this there's a unit gonna be stronger than the other unit. I don't think this game exists of power crept specifically. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Because it's like saying, okay, lots of people say black dwarf, right? So the upcoming black dwarf is also um a mineral. It's always good to have you here. A mineral unit. No matter if you found a bargain but or let's say you don't pull lost. for her. You're not power crept then, right? Now this game has a lot of power creeps, I don't believe so. Because if you don't pull that unit, you don't get power creeped. And plus it's not like a um it's not like a competitive game. Pass one point to every unit is packed with Hugo text. Yeah, that's true. Left like there's tons of text. Boom, like oh, oh not really, but uh <laughs> maybe maybe eternity is a bad example. I think um yeah, Black Dwarf texts a lot. Like, everyone's like confused at first, like it's too five head for them. Just because a game isn't PvP doesn't mean power creep doesn't exist. I don't believe in power creep, like I said. But yeah, if you believe it, it's yeah, it's your choice. But I don't believe it because um if you don't have the unit, it, it doesn't power creep your original unit. And obviously, yeah, sure, the new units are busted, but it doesn't mean your value of your old unit decrease. Design equals harder and different. Yeah, true. I believe so. Yeah, I heard like Melania, for example, Melania, right? Mm -hmm. There are boss you? gonna be become Sorry. that you can't take much. Your visit was not in my plan, so. But I'm feeling the nervous. simple solution is basically you don't use her in that stage. But it doesn't mean she's power creep. She's still busted in other stages where you can take Moxie, right? Compared to starter when it's simply empty text and not much passive. Yeah, I think so. I think it's much better. Like something simple is fine. I think at this point, like the game just wants to move towards more utility. That's why they want to put more, but they don't want to make it like this unit release. They don't want to give you like players to have time to save. I think all you say is not to use X, but that's true. You just don't use it. That's totally not what power query really mean. But that but that but that's true no or like i mean i i don't i don't i mean power yeah sure power creep exists is exists but I, I i just don't believe in it as soon as you don't get those units or even if you get those units doesn't mean the original units use this uh, that's that's my point i'm not saying power creep doesn't ex exist I just don't believe in the concept of power creeping, that's all. It exists, but it just it just it doesn't apply to me because I just don't believe in the concept. If they release every unit pack more text, more powerful than boss equals harder. Hmm. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. I mean it will only be harder throughout the time, right? It's it's natural. It's it's called progression. Like your unit at that time should be stronger as well. You would content wouldn't be as easy as it as it should be as for now, right? It wouldn't be always gonna be like oh the requirement will always be I3 level 10 for them both, right? They're gonna make it harder for you. They're trying to make players spend more over time so that they can earn money, right? It's just like the concept about the garment shop. It's the same thing. They they release these stuff so they can bait you to pull or bait you to buy. That's business. 
and obviously they want to show you more busted unit that's why yeah power creature exists but i just don't believe the concept about it i want to pull everything because i want to experience everything but it's just like saying um let's compare p0 and p2 melania right sorry p0 p2 melania big difference but it's quality of life increase right I believe in quality of life because I think it's just like it's it makes the unit easier to use and it's just like it's making their multiply higher you. make no use it use it very easy to use I still think eternity is still loss. busted she is still she's still gonna be viable for a very long time CN said that Melania is going to be very useful from 1.1 onwards to 1.4. At least you will have plan, so I'm feeling a bit three nervous. to four, like that's four patch of worth of usage, right? So before she gets, I guess, power creep, but you still have that time period. Or so four patches is what four months? No, six weeks, right? Because we we're trying to catch up, right? So that would be three, four. For us, it will be what? We're gonna have the last two, 1.2, 1.3, gonna back to six weeks. So that will be another. That will be one, two, three months. So four, five. So it will be at least five, five to six months, right? Five to six months, you'd be happy with her. I think that's a long time. If I play like six months worth of games, like six months average of 28 days, and I get six months out of her to beat lots of hard content at, during at that time i think it's worth it to pull something that's why some people who posted like in like video who said oh don't pull for this unit don't pull for that but just pull for i think more more importantly is pull for something you love i love melania's design that's why i pull for her not only her kit is busted but her design overall i, I so so like, it's so pleasing to me. Like, her whole design is so pleasing to me. So I'm gonna enjoy her during this time. I don't care if she got power creeped. But, I, I think I'm a bit off topic at this point, but, yeah. There you go. Uh, if you start on 1.4, you won't stand a chance. The event is made for people who has been playing. That, exactly, I think this game is more about progression. During the time. At that time. And... You would use less resources throughout the time, right? Because now you're gonna level to your units to level 60, I3. At that time, you're gonna save more resources. At some point, you don't even pull certain units. For me, I might, I might not skip Black Dwarf. I'm still in, in like a, it depends. But I think I will pull for everything for one, hopefully, if my luck bless me. So far it has, so I'm gonna keep doing that until like, okay, I'm broke, I can't do that anymore. And I think it's really good as well. Just make them more powerful, but P2 isn't needed at all. Yeah, P2 is not needed at all. It's more powerful, but it's not necessary. It's smoother to use. Pull for who you like design-wise, yep. I pull for Sophie because I love the design, that's the most, yeah, same. Like the, the design... I think it's, it's brilliant. Awesome. Eternity, I didn't know she was busted you. actually. No I only pulled for her because I love her gun, gun design. Like, it's, I, I just love it. Uh, compared to regular, Regulus and um, what's her name again? Um, Lydia. I, I just personally like her. Yeah, I love, okay, old woman, who cares? She's a beautiful old woman. <laughs> a beautiful old woman. <laughs> But um, yeah, also just like Charlie, I pull for Charlie because I like I'm her sorry. design her, her story as well. It just, her story is great as well. No, she's hot. I agree. I agree. I think she's hot as well. But I also have Beacon. Beacon? Who doesn't love Beacon? It reminds me Who doesn't love Beacon? I think everyone loves Beacon. Okay, Beacon is just like... Mwah. In this case, I would say Russian kiss, but yeah. I think she's Russian. Right? Or am I stupid? I'm pretty sure she's Russian. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, it's German! I'm so sorry to all you. Oh, hold on, oh no, I'm so sorry. It's German. 
Yeah. German kiss it. There you go. Oh, you don't like beacons this time? I like it. Also, her upcoming skin looks amazing. Her upcoming skin looks like a hot teach. But oh, like a like a like a very hot laboratory office lady. Or I I don't know how to explain it. But she's in like white shirt and stuff. But yeah, I think yeah. I, I quite enjoy this stream. I think this is the first time I actually have people chatting in my stream, so I really appreciate people who join and chat with me. Even though like we had like we have different point of view, it's fine. I, I like I love like this discussion as well. So thank you so much for these like inputs and stuff. It's so engaging. I love it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna pull for everything. I'm gonna pull for the good boy pickles. I'm gonna show you why. The reason why I want to pull pickles is. It's not just a dog. I love her. Uh, I love Pickles Kit. Pickles Kit. Jesus Christ, that thing just looks OP. And then um, the other reason why I want to pull for Pickles is damn, Pickles is like badass. Hold on, let me just see. Can I just add the source real quick? Let me just grab it real quick. Add new source in. Silence on the stage is only a tiny. Lingering charm before oh, yeah, the there. next Done. magnificent show. Look at that. That's for the event. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. If you haven't oh, done the event, spoiler about? ahead. God damn it, I just said the first. But this Thank is Pickles. Goodness, nobody noticed me. Look at look at Pickles. Like him doing like the arcing arcing skill looks so badass. He looks so badass. Pickles looks so badass. You're right. Five months of play on any game that busted. This game hasn't like. I'm not gonna lie guys, this we we all play a gacha game, right? We all know how this goes. They're gonna release stronger units in the future, but if you can get use of them for a very long time, I say it's worth it. Uh, any of that's busted. This game hasn't to wear three star of shiny now and the five star or Lao Hai now will carry. Yeah, I think now carrying you is important as well. I think early game is like if you get okay. Let's say let's put it this way, right? Maybe it's not the best example, but let's say it's enough to do limbos, right? And I'm telling you, average players will get stuck at stage five. Without doubt, my friend right now, who plays, I don't know if he a spender or not, but um, he's currently stuck at the trash bag. So basically, he's missing out. Um, one, two, I think he's missing out 80. So I think if you first only beat the first half, you only get 20 drops, right? So he missed 80 here and 100, 100 here. So that's one pull for Limbo. You probably think, oh, that's not a big deal. You know, you got two weeks to beat it. But over time, I don't know how many Limbos we'll have. So Limbo lasts for two weeks. Is it two, is it two weeks? I forgot. Guys, is Limbo lasting for two weeks or three weeks? I think it's two, right? So two weeks. Okay, if it's two weeks. Five months. What's five months of two weeks? So that's... That is like what? So every month's one. So it's times two. So you get like ten... Ten weeks. So that's like five cycles. Five cycles. Like five... Wait. What am I saying? Ten, ten Limbos. Yeah, ten Limbos. You get 10 limbos. So let's say 10 limbos, right? So you're already, if you can't beat anything, if you can't beat 5 and 5 last half and 6, and that's 10, so you're missing 1800 drops just because you didn't pull for a unit. But obviously, one, obviously, 1800 drops is not, is not, it's a lot. It's basically one multi, right? So it doesn't really repay. It doesn't pay back your original pool value because one pool is 180, you miss 10 pools, that's it. But that's not a big deal already. I would just say that's not a big deal, but I'm just saying you get one free multi in terms of pulling something. And that being said, you don't need to pull for anything else. But that's that's just a concept. Obviously, it's not going to repay um, unless you pull Melania for 10 pools. Congratulations, you just got back your Melania's value. But I pull for my Melania for towards 20 so that means i'm i lost temples but that's in terms of value right but i'm just saying that's just limbo alone 
I, I haven't even include the event that we're gonna get like Utu or Uta. I think it's Uta or Utu. Hold on. What's it called? If you click on the spider web, Utu. Yeah. Utu. Utu stages are hard as well. Never mind, bro. I can't stay. It's okay. Join. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be here for a couple, like one or two, two hours, just chatting as well. But um, Utu stages like this one. So if you go to here, you click on it, you can see this. Utu stages, right? These are also like limbo stages as well. They're hard. They're hard content. They're hard end game kind of content as well. I think you get them every event. I might be wrong. I haven't really looked look into Utu content alone. But um, that being said. U2 content is same as Limbo. I don't know how much drop you get, but if you can use Melania to beat five months worth of U2 content, that's also clear drops. So you're getting value out of it. So I think purple who you like is more important than oh yeah, I have to have meta comp. It has to be poison. It has to be two fairies. Okay, two fairy is a muscle. Screw whatever I said behind that. Tooth Fairy is an exception of everything I just said. But for DPS wise, I say you put for what you like, it's still gonna be fireball. You're gonna find a way to beat certain content. Like sure, you're gonna do it slower. Because you know, power trap is a thing, right? Your power level is different because different multiplier, right? But you're still gonna do like strong thing. You know what? Remember I say like five months worth of to 1.4? When you're at 1.4, I saw a video doing someone use Melania, right? Melania herself still destroyed that octopus 1.4. I think it was an Utu one as well. And it's a multiple target, and she still smashed that content by taking Moxie. What about Pickles? Pickles? Pickles is useful. Pickles is every, like a best support you can have. Especially for anyone who has AP greedy comps. Such as Melania is kind of AP greedy, greedy. You kind of want her to keep moving, right? Melania pickles great combo. The reason why is, um, let me just show you why. So if I just go to, if you guys haven't known, there is a website called Pryden.gg. They translate it everything from CN to English. It's a great website, great resources. I'm not sponsored by them. I don't know the owner, but great website it's great resources so why not just use it you know not a promotion just saying but um that being said right pickles i will show you why pickles is really good hold on let me just right hold on let me just show you uh da -da -da. Show my oh well, that's fine. I'll just show you. Hold on, right. let's see if I can share the screen yet, yeah, real quick. I'm just gonna change it to can you see it? Okay, good. I think you can see it. So if you see pickles, right? I think she pull for certain unit is like a very. They try to be like neutral as possible, but oh yeah, if you haven't gotten the new code, this is the new code. Um, this is the new code you should be getting. You can get new clear drops. You can get a candy as well. Uh, if you haven't already, let me just copy this real quick. Punch it into your game, get the stuff. Oops. It is Gacha Gaming. If you haven't already. This is the new code for now. Um, but yeah. Let's see, let's go back to the thing. Right. So if we go to see characters, this is a great website. I think it's great. Um, the kit uh, uh, translation, uh, pickles is not this. Pickles is, what was pickles again? Mineral? Mineral, right? Yeah. 
So um, most of them are translated. I don't know is it like the well translated, but we will see once it's released. It's the best translation method, right? So pickles, we can get the gist of it. That's the main main thing we want to get. Why is pickles good? So you will see his his thing, right? It's like oh, it deals five hundred percent value and then adds damage dealt plus thirty percent. Thirty. If we go and check side tubes, right? Damage dealt thirty percent. Um, there's a damage formula. It's different, so um, I can't really say which side tube is like that. But damage dealt plus thirty percent is huge. It's a huge thing. It's like having Sonetta buff times two for two rounds. It's OP. And then it's like if in the clarified topic status, the duration of this damage dealt plus another round, so it's three rounds. This is P zero, by the way. We were not we're not talking in portrait. This is P zero alone. And then this one target attack deals Okay, wait. Before we do, we let's talk about clarified top pick. This is why he's OP. Clarified top pick is basically Enhanced Pickle's next incantation or ultimate. And then every time he has this, it trigger Moxie plus one for the caster. So this, this dog doesn't move, just like his law. If he doesn't move and just read books at home, he's gonna get one Moxie. So you basically don't use his card at all. And oh, okay. And if he has clarified topic, right? So if he doesn't move, he gets one stack, right? And then the next incantation she he uses will minus that one stack. So let's say I don't move in the first round, I get one stack. That's plus one Moxie. And then the next round I use something that will be plus two moxie. So you can get three moxie moxie in one one move. In two rounds. That's OP. And then you can keep stacking this. You don't need to move anything at all on thing. And then merge, you his card merge, another moxie. So Pickles is really good in terms of as a support. There's, as a non-AP greedy support. Like this is the definition of um, uh, minus, oh wait, is it minus? Negative, no, wait, positive, yeah, positive AP. You get positive AP, basically you give AP for your other carries that need it. So now we've got the clarified topic away, and, uh, why, and then he get Moxie from this stat. So basically in that move, he gets bonus of this buff, right, for a clarified topic. The next one is if he has this stat, he does 50% more damage. So he does extra damage when he has the clarified topic. Every time he moves, he will it's guaranteed every time he moves, he will have clarified topic. So basically it's guaranteed unless you do two of his moves in one round, which is unlikely, right? Because you just beat the purpose of using clarified topic because it minus one stack. Unless you have two stack, then obviously you use two, like throw it. And then this one's mass attack deals 150% mental damage to two enemies and that's 25%. But look at the two star. If it has this, it spells. By the way, this mass attack, multiple enemies, right? Not only it does damage to two enemies, it dispels all of their buff. That's our passive stat status and counter. Just this alone is OP. Why? Because if you go and check other units, right, that dispels, uh, who else dispels? X. X is a good example, right? X is a good example um, of him dispelling. So X, here we go. He dispels stats up and counter. But that's two cards, and it has to be two star, by the way. Well, and then only a single target. While Pickles is a mass attack that dispels everyone. If, like two targets, if it's two that enemy, you, you're guaranteed to dispel two enemies every time. And if you're facing only two enemies, that's OP, right? And then, and they cast, like, they also like, have a penetration rate and dispel all of, all of basically X times two. You need to use this twice to match. Oh, wait, twice of this and twice of this to equal to one, two star pickles. So that's why Pickles OP. Pickles OP as a dispeller, sub DPS because dog hits hard. 
he literally hits your nut. This is this is just like a literally hits your nuts and then buff your whole team 30% damage like X doesn't do that. Well, X is different, right? Because he removes Moxie. It's still OP. It's still good. But I'm just saying that in, t in terms of like support wise, Pickles is very aggressive sub, sub DPS. I, I don't see why people don't want support for him. And then plus, Pickles don't need any portrait. P Pickles' portrait is just increasing. Like 10% on the damage dealt. Great. More strong mental damage ultimate, great, but you don't need that. That's not necessary. Pickles is fine alone being peace here. This this dog is strong. <laughs> Alright, pulling for Pickles. I don't mean to put you into picking him, but I, I'm just saying his advantage compared to lots of units. He's basically a X built into one. <laughs> Sorry X, I usually, I throw you under the bus. X design is cool as well, don't get me wrong, but I throw him in the, under the bus because he's one of the best examples to compare with Pickles basically. Um, as for Tooth Fairy, lots of people say that you should pull for her 6 star, right? So Tooth Fairy is a star, I think. Yeah. Tooth Fairy is after Pickles, this is why lots of people say, yeah, skip 1.1. Um, because Poo Fairy is broken, you use this for everything. Um, true, I agree. He, she's OP, but do you need P2? Not really. Yeah, her P2 will make her healing. So when stats to 5 AO, it will be consumed at the beginning of the round to reduce all enemies' critical resistance and critical def defense, right? But it also does when the stat default effect of Tooth Fairy is triggered, so this. You also heal all allies for 10%. So basically, if you have this for extended one round, you'll, it's basically saying um, you trigger this twice, basically. You heal 10% too, and then it's basically, um, it will basically will not have a downtime. It's why, why everyone is saying Tooth Fairy P2 is important because you don't have a downtime on her. her buff and like stat buff anymore so that's why it's very highly valued compared to any other units but if you're free to play p0 is overpowered already and she's gonna carry you in everything like she gives targets confusion which is critical resistance if you have regulus if you have charlie if you have lydia she's like one of the best support for you she also Purifies all debuff on you. So if you're stunned or anything, purify gone. Done. And then she also heals based off her attack. And you probably think, oh yeah, attack healing is not that great. Um look at um what's her name? Sophie B. But Sophie B is a bit different, right? Sophie B at I3 is OP from that point because you can heal with your potion with the thing and then you heal like a thousand as well. Her heal can crit! That's why it's OP! You can have a heal that does crit. Which is kind of funny to me. I was like, heal on crit? Red number heals? Ooh. Or oh, blue, 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 like shiny numbers? You know. But um, also her plus 40% healing of it. <laughs> what the hell is this? This I2. She's a very usable at I2. I3 is a quality of life. But yeah, um, this is why Tooth Fairy is very highly valued in CN. Also, um, I can read um, Chinese, so I'm very happy to do some Chinese with you as well if you guys are interested. Uh, if you do, let me know. That I will try to do that as well. Um, to this is why I Tooth Fairy is a must pull. If you can pull for her one copy, that's it. You don't need to go P2. P2 is just quality of life. It's just making her passive of healing just OP. Um, the next one is Chan Ling. Chan Ling. Chan Ling. Chan Ling. Chan Ling. Chan Ling. Chan Ling is. Hold on. Let me just change the background. Everyone else is ready. I lied. Uh, 
I, I can't move. Everyone else is ready. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so for Chang Ling, oh my god, teaching Mandarin sen senpai, uh, it's really hard. <laughs> we'll just say that it's not something you. Also, you really need to hard, work really hard. I think it's one of the most difficult language, along with Polish. You like lots of European language. Um, along with, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not really um knowledge on that, so I'm not gonna comment more. But I'm pretty sure it's like similar level or even more difficult to um. I think Cantonese is hard as well. Actually, Cantonese, uh, Mandarin is hard, Polish is hard. I think some lots of European like Eastern European um countries language are hard as well very smart people i think anyways um mass attack so changling is good because she she doesn't need sofa b by the way changling is a unit that can self alone sofa b is just a quality of life you don't even need to use her the only reason you use sofa b is because she heals right you only bring her as a um healer plus she applies more poison for her ultimate so changling alone as a standalone unit it's complete and you don't need any portrait poison debuff extra one round is basically so one to two poison lasts for two rounds right so wait yeah last for two rounds so every three will get but you have who you have so you're gonna put poison stack on sofa b with sofa b right so basically her p2 is not needed anymore Unless you're gonna play solo Changling, which I think it's weird, but you can use her as a standalone unit as well. So, when attacking an enemy under the poison state, the damage dealt is increased by 20%. That's damage buff. After entering combat at the start of every round, get a poison. And then, also, the point is, poison at the end of the round takes Genesis damage. So, what is Genesis damage? Genesis damage is basically true damage. If you haven't played any game, you probably don't understand what is true damage. So what it means by that is Genesis damage ignores all defense status. This is why Poison's team is really strong. It's because they like um because the poison also does a maximum of 30% of the caster attack, basically. So Changling is a DPS, she will have high attack. So she will have we can't see her stat yet, but she will have high attack for sure. And just based off that, she's doing true damage to these these enemies. So that's really OP. Like it's like a every off round you're gonna do damage to them. Every off round you do damage. Main round you hit them and then they get damage. It's like a DOT damage over time, basically. Poison is damage over time. So standard unknown unit, she is complete. She doesn't need P full trade at all. Upon entering combat, damage dealt is increased by 8%. Decent. And then after attacking an enemy that is not under a poison diet and fits poison. So if enemy cleanses or anything, or like you somehow don't have poison on them, like let's say um so if it be ultimate will remove all poison. If you if you don't know you already, if you go and check Sofa B. The ultimate removes all the poison, active all poison and takes effect immediately and it removes it. She'll apply the poison back again. And if you look at it, she is basically Beacon 2.0 but for poison. If anything has stats down, negatives and control, she does another extra 30%, 45 and 75 for her visit from friends and it's a mass attack, it's AoE. But she also does a strong single attack. So if target has a poison attack, this additional damage does 40% again, and then each additional poison, this is why server B is important. Each additional poison attack after that raises the reality damage that by an additional 20%, up to 40%. So each give 20, so another two more poison will give her another 40. So 180, 40, 40. So that's 220 and then 260 just from one star I know that's OP as hell that's disgusting I haven't even talked about the ultimate the 
ultimate does 300% reality damage to all enemies and inflict poison on all target for 2 turns. So basically you ult and then you use the white carpet, bam. That's 2 stack of poison at least. So that's basically saying that you get the 40% reality damage. 60 and it scales, it scales, what the? 60 100, it scales, what the hell? I didn't know it scales, holy sh- Ooh. 50%. Yeah, but she's she's complete as P0. Holy crap. So yeah, she's OP. Um, and then any 6 star we can talk about? Black, Black Dwarf. I, I'm i not down to explain what this Black Dwarf does. Black Dwarf is like, what the hell? I think I haven't even read into 6 and 37. Um, 6 and 37 is like units I haven't really explored yet, so I only read up to 1.3. 1 1.4, I didn't really read up to it. Shemaine, I think, is a possible skip. You can skip him. The reason, if you don't have Melania or Centurion, the reason why I say you can skip him is because, um, he's, he's like one of the user that's you have someone that can, I'm not saying you can replace him, but you have units that's, that already kind of does his job, but not as good as his, because he's a sub DPS as well, he does damage as well. Um, but he also debuff. But he is a potential candidate that can be skipped, I would say, if you're free to play. He is, he is very useful though. Because you can, as you can see, damage taken this, and that is by 10%. Normally you only see 5%, this is 10% by the way. But the mental defense shred is the same. So, the only thing that's different is the damage taken, which is kind of a big deal as well. And then, um, Nature Blessing. So Nature Blessing is, after the caster used their ultimate, conceal all stack of this to restore an amount of moxie. So you can get up to 5. So you can like, ult. And then, so basically you can do ult, and then consume all stacks, and ult again. It's possible. So apparently someone say if he's P5, he can ult twice and then that thing just disappeared in the air. So every stat down status on the target when attacking damage dealt is increased by 8%, up to a maximum of 24 upon entering a game 2 stat of nature blessing. So he, this is himself. I think. I'm not sure does it apply to your whole team, but I'm pretty sure this is just for himself. This is why he does so much damage when it comes to nature world, because his ultimate is gonna be 100% crit. So it's always crit. So he's pretty good with Thunder as a pause. Um, but yeah, I think he's a possible skip, but up to you. I'm holding for him. Like I said, I'm gonna try to pull for everything for one copy. If I didn't, I didn't. That's that's life, right? This uh, black twelve, I'm not skipping. The reason why, it, although earlier I said I'm, um, if you don't pull for her, then your eternity is still have value. Da 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 da. I still think eternity still have her value. Um, black twelve doesn't completely replace her at all because they both do different things. She doesn't have Nasty Wound. Nasty Wound is kind of a big deal, right? You can cut people's healing. It's different. Um, for Black Dwarf, lots of text. Lots of text. That's why I said I don't really want to talk about it. But, um, but this is basically each planet. So there's three types of planet. I'll just try to make it short for you, yeah. There's three types of planet. You have Saturn, Mars, and Moon. Well, Moon is not a planet, but they say it's a planet. So the Saturn, Mars, and Moon. And each different planet has different types of usage. Saturn gives penetration. Mars gives you leech, so she self heals, and she does full moon gives you more skill powers. Incantation, basically. You get stronger incantation and ultimate. I think skill power applies both on basic and ultimate. And then you get penetration rate. Da, 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 da. So this is basically I I want is just increasing her original passive. And then she also have this incantation two, which two incantation gains an extra star. 
So her one cast becomes two or two becomes three. It's random. And then there's also this one, her eye I, I two based in crit. So this is why she and Clue Fairy is very strong because two fairy reduce crit resistance. And then for I3, after the caster used the ultimate, gain one effect based on the most removed planet. So basically, each time you remove something, right? From I1, if we read that again, you gain another effect. You get enchanted strike from removed when you remove Saturn. And then if you remove Mars, you get mythical, mythical meteor. And then if you remove Mars, you get spell incantation too. So what does that mean? you get these effects, so um, so you get these effects, hold on, where is it? Oh right, here. You get, so you enhance the following attack, so Mars will, will increase the strong, like make it stronger for mythical, like this, you make it stronger, you make the meteor stronger, you make strike stronger, and, perf and full moon will be making the ulcer stronger. It's a very, I would say it's a very big brain player can play this, but at the same time it's so straightforward as well, it's nothing that complicated. You remove a certain planet, you use that. That's about it, and then you just, depends on how you want to play it, right? And also like, she heal herself as well, she, if you remove Mars, you get Leech Ray, and she, her, since her attack crits, that's why the leech rate seems very low, but it also stacks, by the way, so you can get 18% times 3 for everything. 18% for everything. This is why Black Drop is so strong as a 1 and mass attack. She does strong single and strong mass attack. She's like an abomination of eternity. This is why someone says she replaced with eternity. Exactly, it, she replaced her, but if you don't pull for her, she doesn't get replaced so she's i like her due to her design can we see her design i love dark skinned women so that's why to me she's beautiful that's my um my type of girl so she's she's wonderful i love her um 6 and 37 i never really gone through it this, there isn't even information for the skills there is for 37, but not for 6. I'm not sure can we find something for 6, hold on. What happens if I knew... Okay, let me look for 6. Let's go for 6. It's Mandarin, but... Uh, let's see. Uh, what's her name again? Or his name? Oh, 6 is a he, right? 37 is a her, okay. 6 is he. It's this. Let's see, can we find anything for 6? Why is it in white mode? It's so bright. Ugh. So six is apparently support. Hold on, I'll, I'm gonna change the um, screen real quick. Give me a second. I'm trying to find six. Uh, let's see, can we find it? Okay, it guys, it's gonna be white screen, but it's gonna be very bright. I'm so sorry. It's so funny you guys can see my cursor, but I'm not sure did I have I posted? Yep. Yeah, okay, it's gonna be super bright. About early, I also think sweetheart is hot. Yes, yeah, sweetheart is hot. Yeah, I agree. So I'm gonna zoom in. You probably don't understand it. It's fine if you do. Congratulations. So this is insight. So what is 6? So 6 can raise a thing called light value. Let's call it light value for now. And 
so there is a chance for him every round he will get an increase of flight value. That's his first one. Um, what does flight value? Flight value gives him gives him elemental dam so elemental defense down for the enemies. Um, some sort of CC to the enemy basically and then he increases uh, his own damage is the first thing that's his first insight six is a gacha character <laughs> yep true um and then six i2 give his damage increase is a damage increase and i3 is after he release his ultimate he give enem all enemies a type of debuff different type of debuff and then out of the so basically you have a pool of bullshit in the pot he f randomly throw them on the enemy basically and then it lasts for a couple rounds he give all enemies debuff and then give his all teammates a buff that's him he's a support there you go he's a sub D sub dps support that's what I understand at the moment. Okay. His skill. His first skill. Okay, let's talk about his first skill. Um, this is his ultimate. Okay, his first skill is a debuff. So it's a de debuff depend on how much life stack he has. He gives random debuff to the enemy. And it's to two enemies. Six look like an NPC. He has a, like, no emotion in his, in his face. I think it's to do with his, his lore. I think he's some sort of like... Um, the, you know, at the end of the story, right, we got from chapter 4. I think he's like some sort of like... Wait, is my quality really bad at the moment? Oh, you can see 10 LGP, it's fine. Okay, 6 is... I think it's because he's from the... The whites, I don't, I forgot the name, but you know the pigeons that we got at the end, the white pigeons that's been spying on Furton. I think he's one of the leaders, or at least someone very important from them, basically. Anyways, he throw to two targets on debuff, and then he gets a ran. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay, he gets random zero to four light stacks, basically increase zero to four light stack. As you can see, he throws two like to two targets random debuff then his second skill is so it's a single target one single target buff that will give some sort of random buff so he likes to do random stuff you can speak china uh yes yes i can speak china <laughs> but but if he gets five to six stacks of the light, he will he would use five stacks to give his teammate incantation might. So if, if you remember, so basically he gives if he can he can take five stacks away from him to give incantation might to his teammate. So his incantate like your teammate's incantation will become stronger. His ultimate is a is a single target attack. And then if you can have six stacks of his light, he does extra bonus attack. Uh, extra bonus damage. That's his ultimate. And this is suggestion for his team. So six is a support wait. Why why don't I just um hold on. Can I just translate this? No. What the hell? Why do I but I feel like it's gibberish though. Like, I feel like it's gibberish. Would it even make sense? Because like, these words, like, these words, I don't think it will work on English, but we'll see, yeah. If it's bad, I'll change it back. <laughs> Deputy C. <laughs> okay, no, no. It's bad. It's bad. Uh, never translate. Uh, can I just... Can I say don't? 
Uh, can I can I don't translate please? Uh, where is it? Okay, let's go back. So his his um team, deputy C. <laughs> no, that's bad. It it means this means sub DPS, basically. Sub carry is what they like to call it. It's a sub carry. C means carry in Chinese term, I believe. Um, so six is a support. It can be also used as sub DPS. So he needs a main DPS and a um, a sustained character. He can use six and thirty seven and two fairy as the mathematician team, the math team, or he can use six and surprisingly a knight and Balloon Party to use as the um, it's the most like ordinary fireball team as well it's the everything team basically the utility team let's call it utility yeah so you can use a knight a balloon or 37 and two fairy so as we can tell from 37 is the main dps at this case and A Knight is the main DPS at here, and then the healers. What the fuck? A Knight has a proper team now? Yeah, A Knight is strong. I don't know why people talk shit. Look. 1.48. No, this is wrong. I would say this is wrong. He is S tier. He is strong as hell. Uh, he is strong because... um. If you look at this, right? Look at his, look at his inheritance, his insight. Look, for every max HP times 20% HP lost by the target, damaged up plus 10% for every. So one enemy can be... Um, so the lowest, you know, the lower target, the more damage you dealt, right? Yes, because of cube, yeah. The side tube in the future, this is future side tube. I, I don't remember which one it was. I think it was... Which one was it? I need to find it. It's the, one of the upcoming ones. Um, gain at least plus 3 moxie this round. The power of the warrior's next ultimate is increased by 8%. And has gained at least 4... I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's the carrot of... The heart is why it makes him strong, because he gets lots of moxie from his his move. Look, he plus three, plus two, so that's five moxie. Ultimate again. Yeah, it increases this effect to twelve percent. This, I think, this is the one. This is the side tube. Uh, side cube. Um, uh, the where's action gains, or maybe this one. I don't know. Maybe it's this one. It sounds like the carrot of heart. I think it is this one, for sure. It also gives you crit. This gives attack. This gives max HP. No, it's not this one. When the error, the warrior attack, if they do not have a No, it's not this one. It's definitely one of these ones. Is the old stack infinite or does it end? What do you mean infinite? Oh, you mean A Knight ult? No, it's not infinite. It's it, it ends after the caster attack. So after he attacks, it just goes. It's infinite in terms of if you can keep triggering it. Yeah, it's infinite. If you can keep triggering his ultimate, yeah, it's infinite. The damage from the cube. Oh, uh, good question. But not this one. No, it's it's not infinite. It's one round. One ultimate. It's only one ult ultimate. Let's see. At the end of the round, if the warrior has gained at least 3 moxie this round, the power of the warrior's next ultimate is increased by 16. But is this plus moxie this round, the effect is increased. It's infinite in terms of it, you can keep changing it. So let's say if you have this game, stats-wise, is you can't have the same stat. But if you have a stronger buff, it will replace the original buff. So that being said, if you, let's say originally you only get 3 moxie that round, you only have 16%, but before you ult and you do f plus 4 moxie, 
that will do 24% instead of the original 16. It will replace it completely before you alt. So you get that 24% at the end. But yeah, it's it's only one ultimate and he, he does more crit damage. I think this is a very good one for Charlie. I think this is good for Charlie as well because it increased crit. And, but I think Charlie is still good with Thunderous 4 despite of the sad 330 attack. Look at this joke. How can Thunderous attack be 330 and then our sofa B is 360? But it kind of makes sense because they want to balance it out. Because crit scales really hard with attack. So they had to balance it out by lowering it. So it's kind of sad. But I think this is great for, um, what's his name? A Knight. This is the best one for A Knight in the future. The Carrot of the Heart. I'm slightly losing my voice. I kind of need water. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Water, but my water chat. What's gonna say is perfectly focused on him. Yeah, I think so as well. Um, let's see what this thirty-seven does. Thirty-seven is a DPS star DPS. He, she, sorry, she mass buff give all allies two stack of numeral perception. Oh, that's why it's called the math team because she does math. Okay, that's why it's the math team. I see now. I see why this is called the math team. Because 37 and 6, and she also does has a numeral perception name. Okay, we can close 6 down. Um, but yeah, oh sorry, I, let's finish A Knight first before we move to... And then he also takes damage taken minus 8%. That's great. Man, damage taken is very good, makes him tankier. And then here is interesting. Remember what I said earlier? The two hardest stat you can get is Ultimate Might and penetration rate is the hardest thing you can get in game. For every enemy lost by like for every HP lost by the enemy, the penetration rate plus 10%. That's broken. You it, you basically I don't know how penetration rate work. I think there is a damage formula you can find online. Let's see can I find it? There is someone explain. You know what? I'm just gonna say there's someone explaining on YouTube. You can go look. You can go if to see it. I will. I will go and see it. So I will make myself more knowledgeable. But penetration rate is busted. I think it's ignore a certain percentage of, of their defense basically. So the lower they are, the more penetration he does. He can get up to a decent amount. He can get fifty percent penetration rate, and he gets more moxie as well. So basically saying he can alt and get so his this all of his attack gets penetration he is strong yes it's infinite this is infinite because it depends on the enemy's hp right it's infinite this is infinite you can't dispel this because this is in, built into his, his kit you can't you can't dispel this and it's based off the enemy's hp as well Unless the enemy somehow heal to max HP. Yeah, A Knight is strong. The only reason why he went from S tier to A tier, because from beta, you, you see his element is spirit. Back then, spirit has no counter. Back then, right? What they did with these type of characters is, I'll start show you, I'll just close these. They made intellect and spirit have no weakness. That's why A Knight was busted back then, because he has no weakness. Basically, only intellect... He does... De he has no... enemies, basically. He's neutral to everything. Obviously, he doesn't get that 30% more damage, right? But he doesn't need it because he has penetration and damage dealt on his own. His Mercy Insight gives him that bonus already. He doesn't need that. 
this is why A Knight was S tier back in beta because Spirit has no weakness. But now Spirit has a weakness for internet. That's why he got shot down to A, and his early game was crap because um, he doesn't provide much but damage compared to lots of DPS. Like um, a good example for DPS, like for example, Black Dwarf. No. Yeah, Black Dwarf, she heals, she penetrates, she um she she provides more on the table. She penetrates, she heals herself, she does more skill powers, um eternity, there's nasty wounds. She, basically A Knight is a abomination of damage. I think Sophie and A Knight are rated wrong, but that's just me. I think so too. I think he's no way A. He's strong on his own. Um, he's really strong. I think he's really strong. I, the reason why I didn't raise him, like I said before, I didn't have the resources. I will have raised him. Um, the second reason why is because I'm British and he's French. But that's like a very minority reason. <laughs> but anyway, I love French food. Sorry, sorry if there's any French people, no offense to you. I love your culture as well. But, um, but I got him later on as well. Truth to be told, I got him later and I could have raised him at that time. But I am definitely gonna raise him and show you he's very good. He's a very strong mass attacker. He does a decent amount of um his multiplier looks ra rubbish. But that the reason why his multiplier looks bad is because he has this inbuilt damage thing. He works in all teams almost, yeah. He works in all team. He does. He works with Beacon because Beacon reduces um Beacon reduces reality, right? Yeah. He works with Beacon, he works with Shumane, Shamane, I mean excuse me. He works with Shamane. He works with all the support mostly. As soon as he does reality basically. Uh, obviously Shemaine reduced mental, so that's that almost yeah. He works well with pickles because um A Knight is a very AP greedy unit. So pickles is good. Pickles really good with him. Uh also does boost boost his damage as well before his ultimate. So pickles is great with him. I don't know, is there any they don't get oh Pryden has a Okay, he um, doesn't enjoy affinity damage bonus often. Base damage from his skill is relatively mediocre. I agree. His base damage just seems very weak. And I think the reason why is because his his insight is just very overpowered and they had to balance him in a way. The only thing he would, would an R team like Poison. Yeah, I agree. Poison doesn't work on him. Worth him, I mean. But um, yeah, he works with everyone. And Andy is a good example as well. And Andy. Uh, randomly just um, give empowered and so just like yeah give like power and incantation for herself not AP greedy as well it's very good uh, yeah so A Knight is really strong I'll say if you raise him congratulations he, he's a got strong mass attacker he's really good at mobbing especially very good at mopping these mobs and I say his his um he is not to be you know looked down on she's supposed to be a sub here but she can feel like a dps anandi yeah i think anandi is really strong as well a absolutely um for five star i don't i haven't really looked into five stars because right now i heard from what i've seen i heard i don't think there are any Five stars that really stand out to me, other than this sign, Blonny. Maybe, I mean, it's just like mm, Blunt, Blonny, Blunt. The name is very um, but yeah, she's a she's a DPS that inflicts reduced crit resistant. You see, like some five star that they provide at the future doesn't really give much on the table. Uh, deals mental damage if it one round of nightmare. Do not add the spell that effect after taking any attack. 
uh, step down, this effect lasts, uh -huh. and then fast debuff. I guess you can use use him. You can use him basically for reducing Moxie and debuff. I think he's good. He's a good um, he's a good five star. Yeah, Diggers is a really good five star. Baby Blue is a good five star user. I think Baby Blue is a good five star. I'm surprised he she got put down to B. No idea why. She's a good five star because of how she can do a mental defense shred and mass debuff where she does damage minus 20 and damage taken 20%. Like this is basically like or and it's like it's not like mental or anything. Like she's really good. She has mental defense. She's good with Charlie. Good starting with Charlie. I will call them the Alice in the Wonderland team, Baby Blue and Charlie, because they're both. Charlie likes to do um, stages, and then Baby Blue is just literally Alice. And then Dills and any Nightmare, yeah, it's really good. I think she's a really good five star, but there will be characters that replace her. Him, her, like for example, Shemaine. Shemaine does replace her uh, in a sense in terms of this part. The only yeah, the only difference is that um, the mental defense stretch he does is not that much compared to Baby Blue because Baby Blue scales every five percent. So yeah, I'm losing my voice, guys. I'm so sorry, but yeah, Baby Blue, if you raise her, congratulations. Yeah, so I didn't. That's what Alice and the Wonderland team, yeah, I call it like Alice and the Wonderland team. It kind of makes sense, right now, because um, Charlie, Charlie is basically, if you didn't know, is Shakespeare's grand granddaughter or grandson, grandson. Um, and then Charlie also like does. Apparently, if I remember correctly, Charlie does more damage. P5 Charlie does more damage than P5 Lilia. That's what I remembered from China's review. Apparently P5 Charlie does more damage than Lilia. Crazy, isn't it? China has given Charlie like a nickname, I don't know, but I only know that they give a nickname to B Com Bloom as the seven star warrior. <laughs> That's what I remembered. But Charlie also out damaged the P5. P5, so Charlie P5 better than P5 Lydia. Or was it Regulus? Was it Lydia or Regulus? I think it was Lydia. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's P5 Lydia. 850 P5 500 Mentor. Or was it Regulus? I'm pretty sure it's Lydia, right? Was it? Was it? Is it Lydia? Lydia is ultimate is one. Oh no no no! Not Lydia. Regulus. Yeah. P five Charlie is stronger than P five Regulus. My bad, guys. I, I'm so sorry. I think I got it wrong. I'm pretty sure it's P five Charlie is stronger than P five Regulus. Regulus. But Charlie has one big point. Uh, his HP is big problem. HP. Let's see. Inside. Let's say in terms of max HP, right? 5857 versus probably she would be like 6200 600. No. Regulars have less HP than Charlie. And you know what's interesting about Charlie as well? Charlie also has, if she has lower HP at down 50, she takes damage taken minus 20 and critical defense plus 20. Charlie is tanky as well. Charlie is stronger than Reg Regugu. There you go. This is why. Regulus is... It's not tankier. Like, okay, if we're talking about in defense, yeah, okay. Defense, she is stronger by a margin, by 200 mental defense. Almost like 200, yeah? But her reality is like just same as Charlie, yeah? We see that, yeah? Also, she has... Um, Regulus have higher crit. Compared to Charlie, Charlie's crit is sad. This is why her crit rate is really sad. But 
at the end of the day, she does more damage than P5 Regulus. P5 Charlie does more damage than P5 Regulus. I always heard people say Charlie dies easy. No, she doesn't. She does not. Look, when the casters start the round with HP below 50%, damage taken minus 20 and critical defense plus 20. Basically, if she get crit, reduce and reduce. She is not, she is not flimps. She is not flimsy. She has, yeah, sure. She has weaker mental defense compared to Regulus. But she has 200 more HP than Regulus. And plus, you're going to bring a healer anyway. If your unit died, that is kind of stupid, I would say. That's a skill issue. Charlie is an alternative for starting who don't need to rely on critical, but critical is good. She's also one of the few characters whose portrait elevate her damage output greatly, becoming a nearly mandatory if you want to use the troop master as your main damage dealer. So yeah, she's great. Uh, I would say Brave New World is better than Hopscotch. Hopscotch is not that great compared to Brave New World because her ultimate is what carries her. But this also gives Incantation Might, which increased that. But I think Brave New World is probably better because you get ultimate might and then your next incantation which is her skills there's pack of damage especially you can p5 it so quickly so her her thunder to the d will be 150 percent so this one will be 150 percent this boom her best hp will be ranged at 50 to 80 percent she needs to get hit to do so much damage yeah, people probably talking trash about Charlie for no reason then because 5 star. I think people found you... This is why... Okay, I'm just going to show you that video I was talking about, right? So if we go here... If we check Dreamy... This... I'll show you. 5 star can be broken as well. Sorry. Sorry, Dreamy. If you want me to remove this part of the mod fod, I will do it. But um, I, was, I, I had to demonstrate it. Why? Why is um, Thingy so strong? So let me just go and mute my. Hold on. Let me just sound. Okay. Let's see why. Yeah, I'm just gonna show you why. Look, this is how Dreamy beats. And this beats. Um, this is. This is Limbo Stage 6, by the way, and this is second half. I, I, I was talking about this earlier. Look how, how she did it. Look. I'm just going to show you. Remember her team level, yeah? This is her team level. Level 2, I2, level 50 rabies. I believe it's P5. Okay, she did say it. P5 rabies with R10. R10 by the way, R10 rabies, R5 beacon blue, R5 beacon blue, R5, R5 the full, R5 alien T, second half. And she beats it with this team. People think 6 star strong. Yeah, 6 star strong. Don't get me wrong, 6 star strong. I'm not talking shit about 6 star. I'm just saying people just seem to underestimate 4 or 5 stars as well. I think they are good for 5 star and then she demonstrates it perfectly fine. It's so disgusting. This run looks so disgusting. I just, I'm so impressed by this run so much. I can't, I can't stop fanboying it. It's so good. As you wish. Don't be so furious. So she uses the taunt to the taunt. taunt to bait attacks basically. What? Or say, all traction of the ring. And then the fool is so tanky as well. Like, uh, uh. Let's watch this at like 1.5 speed. I, I know. Just gonna watch it in 1.5 speed. So sorry. So we can speed up her. Like, I just want to show you the run. But this run is just like. I don't like. What? But we'll say. Maybe 1.5. My but yes, yeah, use just the fool to basically bait. You are in doubt using other. Talking now, to And then, so it will save the um because the only thing that regulars do is they are mass attack. One mass attack, and then the two. There's two mass attacking back here. One from one from regulars, 
and then there's two single target ones from Apple and Regulus as well. No healer as well. Yeah, no healer. It's all tanks. It's all taunts. There's all There's a thousand five hundred. It did a thousand five hundred. And this is I2 level R5 level 30, by the way. It did more than my I2 50 Bihar. Mine did only 894. She did 1,500. <laughs> okay. Did you see that? The scout, the rabies ultimate. Look, look at rabies ultimate. 7k. Okay, now the attack. This is a freestyle rabies attack. 15k. <laughs> I mean, my second team has no 6 star. Yeah. It did 15k. It did almost six. It almost did. It did fifteen k six hundred. And then, it's so smart of her to use like taunters. And then it has the damage reduction ta taunter, the free one we get. And now she's like, okay. I hear what? Or say so yeah, you can see that Dreamy also target regulars first. The only reason why Apple look like she's dying is because of the mass attack. I would love to build Sweetheart because of how hot she is, but I don't have her. Oh no, I wish you'd get her soon. You can get her from the Melania banner, no? She's straight up at the moment. But yeah, like, look at this. Now she's gonna like, move one in continuation for free. This is why I love orchestra, because orchestra moving like sometimes you just have the cards you need, but it's just like there's like in between. So it's this is why I love orchestra over um the first melody. But need Changling. Oh, right, true. It's okay, you get sweetheart at Changling banner, trust. But yeah, this is like does this, does that, on again. Kills the apples so not on the counter. And also we done. We GG. That's it. That's it, GG. Don't touch my bag! That's how she beats. That's a lot of I think lots of people Missed the point of having the fourth star as well. Like obviously because our resources are very limited. Also, she talks shit about something. There apparently there are people who are telling me that I only clear it because I have a third six star side tube. You get two for free. Six star side tube wouldn't save her from this run. I'm so sorry, but their logic is so flawed. There's, you're not you're telling me a a third side shoot would make her run easier? No! Also, look at the I damage have full dealt. Confidence in the future. Let's see the damage dealt. The rabies is almost equivalent to the beacon. He barely survived, but he did it. No, it's because of the elemental being strong and he units being underrated. Yeah! His units is underrated, and secondly, the u the unit also have like stronger element as well. But obviously, Rabi is level fifty, but it's still impressive to do as much damage as the Beacon level thirty. And the other other thing is like um, targeting is very lucky as well. Also, because the enemy is I don't know does it apply. I need to I need to search it up, but. Uh, you know how we say that damage advantage does 30% more damage on, or taken? But I don't know, does it do like the opposite of saying if your element is counter to the enemy, does it mean you have 30% reduction on the element damage? I don't know, do you take less damage? Oh yeah, it does. It does. I think it does. It kind of makes sense, right? But yeah, Dreamy is like... So like third six star side tube is the reason why she won. I'm like, come on. I mean, really, guys? I don't think the side tube will have won her this fight anyway. 
I think it's her strategy that using two taunters to bait out single targets on them is so much important because the single target attacks, right, also have penetration rate, which kind of ignores the defense of these. And then rabies and beacons on tanky. Beacon will get tanky when she's I3, but she's not even I3. You do take 30% more damage if you're weak. But what about the other way around? If it if you're the counter element, so your plant, do you take 30% less? That's my question. Like, do you take 30% less damage for from it? I don't know. But this strategy is amazing. But it's not viable for everyone unless you're free even if you're free to play. And the reason why I say that is because firstly, I don't know the portrait on these. Maybe it's not really relevant. But it's not re reasonable on everyone is because firstly you need to invest in these you also take 30% less really okay so you do so I think it's not viable for most players is because you don't really invest on four star units but it's a cool showcase regardless it's a cool very cool showcase and I think that any team is possible to clear certain stages if you use the right kits at the right time everything is possible so yeah um i think i'm gonna wrap up my s stream here i have been streaming for three hours it's kind of getting late for me as well i kind of want to wrap up my stream here at the moment i think i'm gonna make a highlight on the clear for the limbos i think that's what i want to do um yeah, I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, it's indeed... hold on, give me a second. It's indeed, it's indeed too much. Even but yeah, I'm gonna go hit my future, limbo stages. I still wanna go back Have a nice night, thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hit my limbo stages as my stream highlight that I beat them again um, because some people wanted to see me clearing limbos and then um, for pulling plan like I said before I'm gonna pull for everything if possible I'm gonna raise Melania to 30, I3 Eternity, I250 NND, I3 Beacon, maybe I3 Charlie we'll see because I don't have it oh yeah the reason other reason why I raised Charlie is because if you go and see my my star I don't have any star units. I don't have any star DPS. And she's probably like only one star DPS I have at the moment. I don't have Rekuku. I don't have Lydia. So that's why I raised her. And she's cheaper to raise anyway compared to 6 star. So yeah. Dyke I will not be raising. Great free to play. Um, Speak. It's great free to play I think. Because she does Genesis attack as well she does genesis attack i think is it this one yeah this one it's plus a genesis attack it does a two attack but yeah i think i'm gonna wrap up my stream here i'm losing my voice as well jesus christ i haven't been stream i haven't streamed for ages as well i was like hospital like i was in i was trying to like get well soon and stuff so yeah but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the stream Thank you for sticking around this long as well. I will do another stream soon. I don't think there will be any like any content being dished out anytime soon. Um, I probably will stream on... Because next week... Let's see. Next Friday I have, I have classes. So I won't be streaming. From, I will be streaming on the weekends, but it will be short streams because I need to study as well. Um, but next, uh, the next time I'll be streaming will be on the next weekend, maybe. Will be on the 25th and 26th for sure for doing the Uta, the Utu. And then I'll be streaming in five days as well for the crisis mode. I think I'll be streaming these. I'll stream in a similar hour as well. Maybe earlier on the afternoon. 
and for these ones i think i'll be streaming those if it's 12 days from now on one week 7 14 beyond the 22nd or 23rd I don't think I will be streaming on those dates. I'll be streaming on the 25th or 26th maybe for these content. But yeah, I'll be streaming these on the weekends mainly. Because that's when I'm free. But yeah. Anyways, that's it for the stream. I hope you all enjoy your day, night, afternoon, wherever you are, or go to sleep. And uh, see you. Bye. Bye guys. Thank you for joining. Bye. Thank you for joining.